welcome to the Be Lenore Show. Here, we will discuss lifestyle, beauty, celebrity gossip, and current events in our own way, my way, Be Style. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Taking an early lunch to kick it with you. How y'all doing today? How y'all doing? Ooh, I look very, very pale. I need to go put some color or something. I'm sorry. How y'all doing? It's Friday. I'm so happy. This is Friday. Let me tell y'all, I'm still kind of reeling off the birthday weekend weekend. And I have been busy this week, but not like exhaustingly busy, but I've been busy, right? And this week flew by. I can't believe it's already the weekend again. And I got festivities tomorrow. It's my, I don't want to say. I have festivities tomorrow. I'll tell y'all after tomorrow. There's a reason. Because you, know, you never know who's watching. You know what I'm saying? So since I don't know who's watching, as a matter of fact, let me, um, I meant to add, here, y'all bear with me, y'all on YouTube, I'm about to invite my Facebook people in here just for a minute, which means I'm probably going to play my little song one more time. <laughs> Wait a second. All right, let's see. All right, I think it's, it's thinking, it's thinking, it's thinking. Yes. Hi, everybody. We are now live on Facebook. Um, with that said, you know, I got started over here with my YouTube people a little early. So just for a second, I'm just going to play my theme song just because A, I like it. And B, it's Friday. And C, because Facebook missed it. And four, because I can. All right. So we'll be right back right after this. <laughs> Welcome to the B. Lenore Show. Here, we will discuss lifestyle, beauty, celebrity gossip, and current events in our own way, my way, B. Style. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. <laughs> All right. Hi, everybody. Everybody on YouTube and Facebook. Welcome to the V. Lenore Show. And I'm your host, V. Lenore. Okay. Now, look, it's Friday. I'm taking an early lunch just to kick it with y'all on this Friday. Okay. Because I kind of miss y'all. All right. Now, I got a few announcements to sort of make just so we're clear. All right. This is not the Ernesto and Sonya channel. I'm so sick of this heifer. I got to keep coming out here and responding to this bullshit she be saying. I'm sorry. Ooh, Facebook people. See, no, okay. YouTube. Let's be very clear. These Facebook people, most of them I know, like in real life. You know what I'm saying? Um, they know me from different aspects of life. Um, now, I'm, I'm not one that fronts and pretends to be one thing somewhere and something somewhere else. Please just understand that. But sometimes my aunties, my older cousins, my 
church family, you know, they might hear me out here talking crazy, you know? And so I just want to tell them, I'm sorry in advance. This might be one of those days, okay? But anyway, we welcome you to the V. Lenore Show. Sit back, relax, and family and friends, bear with me. First of all, my friends already know. Hell, my family know. <laughs> oh, I talk. And some of the church folks know too. But anyway, nevertheless, we is here on this good, good Friday. It's not the, it's not good Friday, but it's a good Friday, okay? You see how I'm happy? I'm excited to say, okay, I don't know why. I think I'm just happy it's Friday. So anyway, with that girl, her daughter, I cannot with your arse. Know your own worth. Okay. First and foremost, my beautiful moderator and friend, her daughter, has just gifted five memberships. Now, she did this recently. Okay very recently thank you her daughter i love you and then this one this other beautiful moderator and friend gifted five memberships she did this recently do you understand how this is the same story do you Ten people just got gifted memberships for the V. Lenore show. And let me tell you this. This was one of the other announcements I was going to make right after this live. Immediately, immediately after this live, expeditiously after the live, we are going to have our members only live. Okay. I just kind of want to get acquainted with y'all, with the members. I want to find out from you what kind of content you want how often you feel we should be doing stuff out here together. So we're just going to have a good old powwow after I address this lady. Okay. Um, her daughter, know your own worth. I love y'all. Thank you so, so much. Let's see who got gifted. Let's see. Let's see. I got to check and see. Oh, shoot. I can't believe these chicks. They're, they're just something else. Now, doggone it. Let me get out here. I couldn't even look fast enough. Let me see. Who got the memberships? Oh, cannot with these people. Okay. T-Day, y'all got a membership. Um, and feel so good. April Baggett. Uh, Lynn Tubbs. Kenna 14. Then JMM 55. Let's see who else. Jula the Nile, Queen Brielle, The Real VB, and Cinnamon all got memberships. Please thank the person who gifted you the membership in the chat. Thank you so much, ladies. I love you guys so much. And let me say this too. My moderators are so special. Like they really take this freaking free job seriously. You know, and when I say take it seriously, I mean, they literally, they look out for me. They encourage me. They are my, my biggest cheerleaders out here. They are my biggest cheerleaders. No doubt about it. My moderators ride for me. And there was a period of time where I made a split from um, a group. And um, most of my, actually, all of my moderators were part of that group as well, not all. Yo, all of my friends supported that group too. And that was rough because people were lying on me and trying to attack me and trying to run me off YouTube. Why are they mad? Well, anyway, these doggone moderators, they kept me encouraged. They supported me through it. They um give me tips on, you know, what content they would like to see. If they see something in the news, they send it to me. Like they really ride for me. And I appreciate that so freaking much. I love my moderators. I love them all. Her daughter, know your own worth. Shell loves Fedora, Kimberly Black, Tisa, 
Styles by Tisa, all of them are special to me and, and in their own way support this platform and I couldn't do it without them. So thank you, thank you, thank you to all of my moderators. I, I really appreciate it. Okay, with that said, I didn't say hi to y'all in the chat. I, I don't think I can go back for so far, but I'm gonna try. Please forgive me if I um, um, miss speaking to you. I think we're good. Okay, so hi T Danielle, new member. Ew. Okay, Ambie Bambi. Hey, hi, CW. How are you? Hey, hello, cat. Chick-fil-A girl. How you doing? Let's see. Uh-oh. Uh, Miss Melissa Gauss. Is it Goss? Melissa Goss, I believe. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Ms. Understood. How you doing? Okay, you're going to catch the replay? Okay. Okay. Early dismissal. Does that mean you're a teacher or a principal or something? I'm not doxing. I'm just saying, go, 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 go feed those minds, sis. Okay. Uh, hi, Julia. Welcome. Let's see who else is here. Miss HLS. Hello. Hi, Bonita Applebaum. Hi, everybody. Thank you for being here. Yay. It's my, it's my week, right? Hi, Shay B. Queen Brielle. CA1983. My girl, my girl, Lexi the Logger. She is our resident. Oh, wait, wait, the real VB. Are you? I think both of you are in the legal world. These are my legal analysts. Okay. These are my resident legal analysts. They don't, I mean, they may not have agreed, but that's what they are. Um, hi. I don't know why I feel so connected to you. <laughs> I don't feel so good. Uh, let's see. Sherry Anderson, DD Star 73, Ken. Oh, I said hi, Kenny. Um, uh, hi, hey, hi, Katina Palmer. Uh, did I get everybody for the most part? Penny Dub. Okay, Dimples Wimples. Hey, girl. Hey, how are you? Hey, 777 Magic 777. 777 93 11. I want to spend the night with you. That's all. I, I, okay, the time is my favorite, favorite band, probably of all time. Although I, I love me some Gap Band and, you know, Earth, Wind & Fire is king over everything, but, you know, it is what it is. But anyway, when I see 777, I think of that. Um, April, did I say, hey, I think I did. No, I didn't. Hey, April. Hey, Lynn, how are you? Uh, I think I got most people. Hi, Lorraine Heard. Okay, Cherie Shelton, Jim and I love. All right, y'all, Black Magic. Uh, I said Julia now early because she got a membership. Okay, y'all, so look, if you are on Facebook, you can come on over to YouTube, honey, because that's where the real party is. Um, and as a matter of fact, we got 235 people in the chat. If you wouldn't mind hitting that like button, hit that likeity like um, button to get me out there in that algorithm. So we can handle business here, okay? So I, the, one of the first things I want to do here today. Hi, girl, repping BK New York. Hi, five star. Um, what I really want to do is first, there was a call from Sonia to well Ernesto to Sonia, whatever, and it happened on Super Bowl Sunday. Now, one of the reasons why I want to cover this is because. If you all remember, she went live on Super Bowl Sunday trying to refute or dispute the fact that she had pretty much identified Sylvia as the person, Sylvia being infamous Sylvia, another blogger here on YouTube. I got, you know, I got a YouTube, be patient. I'm running it down to the Facebook people who don't know. Okay. All right. So uh, she went live. Now, when I say she's, she, her name is Tanya. Okay, I'm not even going to put your whole name out there right now, Sonia. Although you have do have a channel called Miss Waller, but that's not even her full name. Okay, so Sonia, who is the alleged alleged ex mistress, although I don't think it's an ex, but anyway, the ex mistress to Ernesto Williams. Ernesto Williams happens to be the husband of Shirley Strawberry over there on Steve Harvey Morning Show, okay? She is the co-host for the Steve Harvey Morning Show, okay? 
Now, Shirley seems like a very sweet person. You know, she seems nice, seems like, you know, very articulate, very poised. And I don't know what she knows about her husband's dealings, but her husband is in jail. OK, he's been in there damn near two years awaiting indictments and bond hearings and all of that. And I think, correct me if I'm wrong, because these folks in the chat know more than I do most of the time. OK, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think all of his charges have indictments now. Am I wrong? Are we still waiting on an indictment for he has charges related to theft by deception? You guys, um, S.A., um, Folks on Facebook, we can't say certain words on YouTube, so that's why I'm trying to be careful. S.A. Actual assault, okay? That's the last time I'm going to say that. S.A., that's what that stands for, okay? Uh, also, um, these words I can't say. Child corn on the cob, okay? Use your imagination what I'm saying here. Child and the word that sounds like corn on the cob, okay? Um, I mean, this man is a whole entire mess. Great, you know, just when we say S-A, we're talking great charges, okay? Are you understanding what I'm saying over here? This man, this shit is serious. And this is Shirley's husband. And Shirley's been allegedly, another alleged, married to this man for nine years, I believe. And he's been arrested three, four times while they were married. So when I say I don't know how much she knows, she obviously knows something about this man that she married. So if she's a victim of him, she almost is a willing participant uh, for nine years because this dude has been up to no good for a while. So it seems allegedly. This is all alleged. OK, even though. I personally believe it. That is my personal opinion, and I'm allowed to have it, and that's why I am a blogger, okay? Now, with that said, on Super Bowl Sunday, this woman's been carrying on with these calls because there's a channel called um, Phone Calls from Prison. Hi, Shay, Phone Calls from Prison. Um, she has been posting calls that Nesto has had. We call him Nesto, by the way. That Nesso has had with his wife, with his friends, with his son, with his mistress over the last two years. Okay. And at one point, she came out here actually about a week or two ago and said, about two weeks ago, said that she's done with him. But the reason why she's, we believe that she's saying she's done, she ain't done. But if it, she's saying she done, she's done because honestly, she doesn't want the bloggers to continue to report on her conversations that she's been having, okay? Now, phone calls from prison is obtaining these calls through the Freedom of Information Act. This is legal, okay? She's doing it legally. It happens. She has a whole channel devoted to it, okay? Not just this case, but other cases of people in prison or in jail, right? And she has these calls. So anyway, Sonya is mad, child, because we've been talking and we've been picking up on the bull crap that she's been putting down. And then even when she decides that she is um, trying to uh, talk in code, it's too late because we can figure it out, you know, and she claims she doesn't talk to him any other way. But this way. So we're hearing stuff and we're picking up on it, too. Now, I try not to come out here and react to every call. However, I interviewed the young lady or the old lady, whatever you want to say, okay? If she's old, I'm old, but she, you know, we ain't young. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, she uh, interviewed with me on January 31st of this year. And it is safe to say that she's probably not my fan anymore. Yeah, I don't know if she's ever a fan, but she damn sure ain't a fan now because that interview was very, very interesting, right? Actually, let me drop the doggone interview so y'all can, um, those of you who are not familiar, let me put it in the chat so that y'all know, um, you know, exactly what went on. So what I try to do, though, is come out here and talk about anything that refutes um, what she said to me during our interview. So let me get that and I'll put it in the chat so you guys can watch it at your leisure. Um, it was a it was a long 
interview. And what I will say to you, I mean, there are details. If you if you're not familiar with the storyline, there are a lot of details shared throughout the entire live. However, you got to remember, you know, it's funny. She says that um, she says that it's a one sided story. But the truth is, she comes out and she tells one side. But the interesting thing is. She says she hasn't even talked to him about the case because all the phone calls are recorded and she can't really talk about the case. But she comes out here with such authority telling us everything uh, that she believes happened with all of these victims. None of these victims are telling the truth. Let her tell it. Ernesto is um, innocent of everything because he said so. And that's what she's going with. But we're one sided. Okay. Anywho. So with that said, thank you for the yellow hearts in the chat for phone calls from prison. Now, why are you putting stuff in the chat? Let me say this. Then there is real talk bougie. Well, let me go to, oh, let me go back. I'm going to go to, um, let me talk about Nyla. Nyla from Grown Woman Vibes. When I tell you, y'all need to go over there and check out Nyla from Grown Woman Vibes and real talk bougie and wisdom's daughter. In particular, these three ladies have been covering this case long before I came along, okay? Several months before I came along and interviewed Sonia. And I have been a fan of Grown Woman Vibes. That's really where I was getting my information from, Grown Woman Vibes. And Tasha K. Let me just say that. And Tasha K. Because Tasha K also interviewed Sonia. She, she interviewed Sonia first. And I want to say that was that in January or December. So um, I say all that to say... I got a lot of my information from Grown Woman Vibes. And when I tell you she literally peels back that onion every layer, she goes in and she has really been given great details. So if you want to get caught up, uh, please go over to Grown Woman Vibes, go to Real Talk Bougie, go to Wisdom's Daughter. And there are others. Um, I want to say uh, Phone Jones covers this case. I'm obviously covering it here and there. Um yeah, so check those out. All of these are content creators on YouTube. Uh, also, and can't I cannot go without acknowledging the GOAT as well, Chronicle Speaks. Now, she doesn't cover it daily, but she, co she has covered some big pieces of it. With that said, we're going to talk about a call that happened on Super Bowl Sunday. Now, the interesting about this is I'd already covered a call Thank you for the super sticker, Dre Child Bearing Hips. <laughs> Not Dre's child. Dre has child bearing hips. Like, like Tim Montgomery from Sweetie Pies. <laughs> Dre, for those listening, Dre is um is Nesto's best friend. Uh, who I believe they they served prison time together several like 30 years ago, some several years ago, 20 years ago. I don't know. Um, they're best friends. They've been best friends for 30 years. I will say that. I think I've heard him say that. But anyway, and you hear Dre on the call sometimes, too. Y'all better leave Dre's hips alone. Nah, now nah, y'all coming for Dre's hips and that ain't right. Hi, Prima Wanda. Hello. Hi, Care Bear. Would you say? I believe Lamont has something to do with the CP. He's very suspicious. Well, it sounds like Simon was trying to incriminate him, right? Recently, but that's another call. Okay, we're gonna okay, back to this call. So it had come out. Uh, uh I'm gonna say Shay from Phone Calls from Prison had released a call where Sonia was saying that a blogger out here had given her pictures of the alleged great victim. Okay, you see how I'm using that word great. Okay. And said that that uh in that call, she's saying that this blogger who goes to court and covers these, I mean, she was very descriptive about who the person was. Now, that blogger is someone I didn't mention just now, but I will at this moment. Her name is infamous Sylvia. Okay, we, we say names over here. If I'm talking about you, you're going to know I'm talking about you. You ain't got to guess. You ain't got to figure out. I'm talking about you, okay? And I, I hate you, Sylvia. You've been on my channel. I've been over on your channel. Um, I have, I've tried to support your 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 platform as much as I possibly could and, and try to respect that you 
seem to have very, very serious uh, differences of opinion when it comes to people like R. Kelly or Ernesto, um, Young Thug and the YSL trial. Like you blur the lines often. And at one point you were disturbed by all of the things you were learning about what this man was accused of. And now all of a sudden you've gotten on this train of almost defending him. It's very weird. And then to find out that you gave this woman, the alleged perpetrator's mistress, gave this woman a picture of the alleged victim is weird sent four pictures is what the girl says okay four so she comes out here on um after we hear that call she comes out here on super bowl sunday because she's in vegas and she's there for super bowl and she's in the food court somewhere and she goes live to tell us oh sylvia didn't give me that um give me that picture it wasn't sylvia it was another blogger I talked to about five bloggers. You believe that? You believe she talked to five bloggers? I don't. Uh, I think she has interviewed with three or four, but I don't think that she talks to three or four. I think her niece or cousin or somebody is a blogger, but I don't think that person's covering the case. And um, she spoke with me at one point because we talked in preparation for the interview, during the interview, and once after the interview. But after that, and that was all within a two-day period of time in January. So she can't be talking about me. It was very descriptive who she was talking about. And it was you, Sylvia. And Sylvia learned of the, I don't know if she learned of this in her chat when people approached her about it because she went live. And Sylvia said, I right? These people say anything. <laughs> she she did all that out here, okay? Trying to front. <laughs> Facebook, these names. These names on YouTube, y'all just got to get with it. I know y'all's real names is over there on Facebook, but over here on YouTube, these people will troll the hell out of you, okay? So this is Sonya's hairline. Sonya's hairline became a new member. <laughs> Thank you, Sonia. <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, yes, Queen Brielle. She chooses the celebrity, the bigger name. I did not say that the other day. When she decides who she's going to support, she always leans towards whoever is considered a celebrity or connected to. Because I don't see Ernesto as no damn celebrity. Shirley St Strawberry. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, she's yeah, she's the co-host of the Steve Harvey Morning Show. They have millions of listeners. Uh, she's been on there for several, I think, what twenty years, damn near, since he started the radio show. So yeah, she's a celebrity. He is not a celebrity, but Sylvia is going to gravitate towards him because he's connected to Shirley Strawberry, and he's the one getting the attention. Same with R. Kelly. To hell with all those victims. To hell with all them stories. She's going to side with R. Kelly. Um, to hell with whatever these people are saying about the YSL trial. I don't even really want to talk about it. But what I do know is she has befriended Young Thug's daddy. Talks to him on the phone. And he bought her equipment that she uses now. I don't know if it was a computer. I don't know if it's lights. I don't know if it's camera. But he bought equipment for her. And this is a trial blogger. So she goes into trials, supposed to cover it, calls herself media. People say journalists, but she is not. I am not a journalist. She is not a journalist. Okay, period. We are bloggers. Okay. Now you can try to be as objective as possible, but a journalist, you and I are not. Okay. So Sonya came out here on that day saying, oh, it wasn't her. You know, y'all y'all just jumping to conclusions. I talked to all kinds of people, blah, 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 this and that. Then she came out here again and said something to Ernesto um, and forgot that she said it because she was very descriptive when she said it. She mentioned it two or three times, all right? So here we are, fast forward. After that live on 
uh, Super Bowl Sunday, evidently she called or talked to Ernesto and told him what was going on. But her demeanor is very different when she's talking to Ernesto. Okay, she's pissed. She mad, mad. And we're going to listen to it. Okay, we're going to talk about it. Yes. So let's get into it here. Um, oh, science hairline. Sonya's hairline just gifted five members. Thank you. I really appreciate it, Sonya's hairline. We have a small but mighty group of members, and I'm appreciative of this. Let me go see who got gifted. Miss Shireen. Hey, girl. Thanks, Sonya's hairline now. Kay Jones, Trina B, Carlton Brown. And April Baggett, is it Baggett or Baggett? April. April got um, gifted as well. Oh, we love our members only like that. Okay. All right. So let me actually, let me find this um, interview that I said I was going to put in the chat. Just so if anybody wants to watch the interview, Facebookers, if you missed it and things. Um. I want to put it in the chat so you have access to it. It is posted on my on my Facebook wall, but um, that is the interview. Also, while we're at it, I'm going to um, drop. Yeah, uh, this the video that we are about to review is um from phone calls from prison this is her link to the video we will be stopping throughout okay i'm actually going to log off of facebook now now please don't feel facebook don't don't get in your fee fees okay don't but if you're interested i think i gave you enough background on this story to tell you just how juicy it is because this man mind you has like five ex-wives well kind of sort of because he was married to this one lady for 30 something years but he married other women in between including shirley strawberry who we don't think is legally married to this man like there's no record of their marriage we saw a wedding we saw a spread in essence but we have not been able to locate the marriage license and it has been proven that he really didn't get divorced from his first wife. Was it his first wife, y'all? One of the wives he did not divorce until 2021. Oh, let me say this real quick, too. Why does he have wives named Edith, Martha, Carol, and Shirley? Am I missing one? That's four wives. Is it, is it one I'm missing? Let me tell y'all, I don't know anybody in my particular generation with those names. I don't know any Ediths. I don't know any. Well, I do know a Carol, but not in my generation. Not really my generation. Carol, like maybe a half step up. Um, definitely don't have any Shirley's that are friends. And damn, she don't know no Marthas. Y'all know these people. Y'all know people with these names. They sound old. Praise God if they old because I want to get old too. I'm just saying. Yes, 504 equipment. You didn't know this? The man bought her some equipment. Hi, 504. Hi, Daddy, that first twin. Okay. A mess. So anyway, so with that said, I think I get. Y'all are y'all not letting me get to the business. Hi, JML. Uh oh, let me go down here. Oh, JMM55 says, I want to know what she did to get that equipment. Did she have to give up some tail for it? She ain't above exposed body parts, allegedly. So that's the thing. That is a very good question, JMM55, because the truth is she has admitted to talking to R. Kelly's tour manager. What's his name? Demetrius Smith. See, we say names over here. Okay, I don't want I don't want y'all to think I'm talking about anybody else. And this is not me. This is allegedly came out her mouth that she did have phone talk with the man and showed body parts to the man. Mm -hmm. That was R. Kelly's 
tour manager. All that for a story. Nope, I won't do it. It'll never happen. So with this one, it's a good question. She did interview um, Young Thug's dad. And she, from my understanding, she talks to Young, Doug, Young Thug's dad on the phone. And he bought her equipment. Sure did. Now, you tell me if that's unbiased. I mean, accepting gifts from the subject. Where do you think Young Thug's daddy got that money from? Anyway, allegedly. Okay. So with that said, thank you so much, JMM55, for your super chat. Thank you. Okay. So with that said, and thank you, Sonya's hairline again. Y'all just blessing me today. So anywho, okay, we're going to get to the business. So Facebook, look, I gave you some backstory. This sugar is juicy. Okay. It's daytime, so I ain't going to cuss too much. Because if anybody knows I cuss, it's my friends and family on Facebook. Okay. I do. But because it's before noon and it's lunchtime, I'm not going to cuss yet. Wait until afternoon. All right. Now, if y'all want to come over to, to um, YouTube, feel free. Um, actually, let me put a let me put a link to the current video that I'm on in YouTube. So this is my link, Facebook people. If you want to come on over here, feel free to join us because this is where the fun goes down. We got 442 people in the chat. How many um, likes do I have, people? Are y'all being stingy with the likey likes? Let me look. Okay, y'all doing good with the likes. Thank you. Crazy about y'all. Oh, y'all awesome. Okay, now we got 213 likes. Can I get another 100 likes, please? Please, we got 446 in the chat. Please, 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 another 100 likes would be nice. But I am going to get started. With that said, Facebook, I love y'all. But y'all come on over here where the party goes down and where I might actually cuss before noon. Okay? Bye. <laughs> Okay. All right. All right. We back. All right. All right, YouTube. Okay. It's just us. Okay. So let's get into the show. Hold on. Hold on. I just want to make sure I'm just checking y'all's uh, comments real quick. Yes, yeah, Sonya is big man. Um, Afro Vlogs Life. Oh, wait. That was Afro Vlogs Life. Vlogs like, <laughs> hey, yes, Sonya, big mad work in progress, child. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's get into it. So, we're gonna get into this uh first video. Actually, you know what I want to do real quick before we get into the first video, I'm gonna go to my video that I did a few days back, I guess two days, two, three days back. Uh, where we we hear her literally telling on oh girl actually you know what forget that we're gonna listen to her her um her from last night the one the most recent one we'll just do that real quick let me share my screen Okay, here we go. This video contains one call between Nesto and Sonia on Super Bowl Sunday, 2024. You will hear Sonia say many words about YouTubers, viewers, and law enforcement. She also talks about pictures she received from a blogger. Take a listen. And those of you, please understand, I will be stopping throughout giving commentary. That is why I, and I'm going to start making a point to do this. That is why I dropped the link to this video in the chat to ensure that if you want to watch it on your own without any stops, you can do so. Okay. All right, let's get it. I know it's loud in here and over there too. It's loud for that game. Yeah, yeah. What, you all right? Yeah, I have to text you on some stuff that transpired today. That quick? Yeah, so 
it's crazy because the problem is they keep releasing them down calls and videos, right? And so when me and you are talking, you know, our conversations are made out loud. So when me and you were talking about uh, pictures that I received that I didn't ask for that I received, they went and tried to make a big deal. Of course, they tried to make a big deal out of everything. Let me say this. She said she made a point. She made a clear point to say. Oh, wait a minute. Baby. Wait, okay, wait. I'm gonna get to Vicky Bell in a second. But she made I made a point to say, you know, pictures I didn't even ask for got sent to me. They just sent them. Let me tell y'all this. I did listen to Real Talk Bougie earlier. Oh, I didn't get to give some insight on Real Talk Bougie. I was listening to her this morning. I love listening to her because I swear I feel like I know her. Like I feel like she is literally one of my girlfriends. Like she really cracks me the hell up. Her humor, everything. I love it. I love, I love everything about her platform. Okay, let me just say that. And this morning I was listening to her, but I had to stop because I was giving commentary, not giving commentary, but I was commenting in the chat. And then I don't want to even accidentally give somebody else's commentary. You know, we're human. So you hear stuff and then you know it's in your ear, you know, and it's in your mind. So I purposely left midway uh, through this call because it is a mess. Excuse me. And it and if you've been following the story, you will have opinions about it, right? Because when I tell you she, I, I, in fact, I, I don't even think I've ever heard her this angry. Maybe y'all have at some other point. Even when she got into it with his son on the phone where she said they were playing, I don't feel like they were playing. Yes, please please put some nails in the chat for Real Talk Bougie. Put some blue hearts in the chat for Grown Woman um, Vibes. And um, and then while you're at it, you can put some kissy lips in there too for me. We already put some yellow hearts in there for phone calls from prison, honey. Everybody got their little emoji, okay? Knock yourself out. So anyway, she says in here, you know, I didn't ask for these pictures. Somebody just sent the damn pictures. Doesn't surprise me. Look, I, I want to say what um, Vicky Vell said. Uh-oh, I just lost it. She said, warning. Wait a minute, where did, where did that dog go? Oh, there it goes. Vicky Vell said, warning. Watching this straight through will give you a migraine. <laughs> so you might want to stay over here and kick it with us for a minute, okay? Listen to us talk shit, okay? Okay, here we go. You know, because they want to make everything a sensational story. So they were just running with it. Oh, uh, Sylvia gave her the pictures. And I'm like, I didn't say Sylvia gave me the pictures. I said, I blocked her, gave me the pictures. Why y'all think Sylvia gave me the pictures? Why was that y'all go you to when I was just, because I was talking about, this was on the 8th, when I talked to you the day before your birthday, when I came to visit you. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, man, a picture. But the thing of it is, what they're so dumb about is her, she has a social media page. So anybody can get the picture. It's not like somebody, like it's, it's something that okay, you cannot Okay, so get. yes, the victim has a social media page. Does that mean, yes, you're right. It, it's accessible to anyone, right? If you know that person's name, you probably could find the person, right? But this person, this blogger, Actively research the person. I ain't mad at that because we're bloggers. Uh, but because of the nature of the crime itself and the fact that you are now aligning yourself with the alleged offender in the matter and their counterpart slash mistress slash best friend slash whatever she is, advocate, okay? Now you're passing pictures to her pictures. She says she didn't have until you gave them to her. So whether she had looked it up before or whatever, uh, Sylvia, what, what sense does that make? Why are you doing that? Why? And why? And, and then the, okay, listen on a little further. Because I haven't listened, like I said, I left halfway through because I kind of want to hear the rest with you guys. But in this, in the beginning part here, she's going to give, well, not here, on the other call, she gives information about where the girl is located now. 
who she's dating now. I mean, this is some bull sugar that she's over here giving, Sylvia's giving to this girl so the girl can come back and tell him and or you don't know what, I mean, we don't know something. We don't know what she's telling. We don't know what she's doing. Anyway, let's listen. This is, you know, and then at the same time, no, no, like what, like nothing was done with it. Nothing was spoken on. I just said I received it and we changed the subject. So I talked about something else. It wasn't like no bit, you know, hoo ha and all of this. And, and then something was discussed, you know what I'm saying? It was just a matter of fact in conversation. You get me? Oh, just and as, as a matter of fact, you said some identifying things that made it very clear you were talking about Sylvia. Period. You were talking about Sylvia. And if you, I mean, let's be clear, if they're bloggers and it's no big deal and the person has um, their own social media account, why won't you just say who it was then? If it wasn't Sylvia and there's nothing wrong with it, say who it is. What's the problem? Yes, I like that, Ski Lee. I like that. SK Lee uh, has the yellow hearts, the blue hearts the nails, and the kissy lips. Love it, love it. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Why won't you just say who it is then if it's no problem with it? Intimidating a witness. How is that intimidating a witness? Because I just talked about something that happened. That's not intimidating a witness. It happened, and, and we talked about something else. If y'all wasn't putting these calls out. Sonia, I'm sorry. I got to stop again. Sonia, stop talking. First of all, nobody said that that in and of itself was intimidating a witness. However, it sets it up for you to be able to intimidate a witness. It sets it up. If the blogger is giving you personal details about an alleged victim, she is endangering the victim. Now, yes, we have talked about other um other victims of his crimes some of his crimes are more like financial crimes you know scams he just stole people's car and their money pretty much and so those people who have come forward and who um who we know the names of because those are financial crimes yes it has been discussed we have seen their faces we know who they are they're on record but this person we don't or we, well, we we knew who it was. Some knew who it was, but there, people are just sharing their information and their pictures, their names, and their location, and any of that because of the the nature of the crime, the nature of the situation. So that's the first thing. So for for her to give you that information, it sets it up for you to be in a position to intimidate a witness. Yes, or for him to be able to intimidate a witness or people associated with him. Next thing, you keep talking about if they didn't release the calls, ma'am, the calls are recorded. They tell you that when they call you, the calls are recorded, okay? The calls are likely to be used in court, dumb dumb. So if you don't want things to be said and you already know how we get down with court, we will watch that shit. I pray, I pray, I pray, I pray that this trial is uh, 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 televised, well, you know, on YouTube. I hope before the Lord. Lord, hear my prayer. I hope that this is televised because we're going to watch it. And you can best believe some of these raggedy ass calls out here are going to be shared. They just are, Sonya. They're going to be shared. You know why? It's a real re the real, the main reason why is because somebody talks too much. And you know who is talking the most on these mother sucking calls, Sonia? It ain't Nesto. Nesto may not be the brightest, but he ain't the dumbest. Okay? Because he's gotten away with a lot of stuff for a long time. And yes, he's gotten caught a few times too. But he, he, he ain't a complete and total idiot. 
I think some of that he plays on, but for the most part, he he's listening. He knows not to talk, but so much on these damn calls. But you, Sonia, you talk, 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 talk. And then you forget what you say. And then you repeat it again. And then you give identifying information. And you go back and listen to yourself say it and still forget that you said shit. Well, we forgot, Sonia. We heard what you said. It was Sylvia who gave you that picture. And if it wasn't, prove it differently. Because, hell, if I had given you something, trust and believe, you could tell it. I'm a blogger. I ain't never gave you shit, okay? <laughs> but if I gave you something, I would own it. So what's the big deal? I don't know why a blogger is digging in so deep like this and trying to be friends with, always friends with the subject matter. It's very, very weird to me, okay? Now, anyway, let's listen. We're going to play the call, Sonya. And you pretending that you broke up with this dude is not going to be enough for us to stop listening to the calls. You know why? Because you talk too much and you've been talking every day and you've been talking multiple times a day on a recorded call and you talk about a lot of shit and we have a lot of content. So even if you break up with him tonight or yesterday or even last fucking month, guess what? We have months and months and months of content. Why? Because of you. You are the gift that will continue to give until the trial and probably beyond. OK, and we're going to hear some of the calls we heard already. We don't hear that shit in court. So you get mad that we are sitting over here listening to some shit that you knew was recorded, that you knew could be used against him. And if it's going to be used against him, it would be in the court of law. And you know how a lot of these court hearings and proceedings are out here online. So we're going to listen and we're going to talk. And as much as you talk, we're going to talk behind what you see. OK. It is what it is. Now, get into it. Then nobody would have heard it, you know? It wouldn't have been something directed. And then, too, they could stay off the internet as well, too. So No, you can stay off the phones. We don't have to stay off the internet. You don't pay my Wi-Fi bill. You don't pay it at all. You don't pay my damn internet. You ain't taking care of my YouTube premium account. You ain't paying my phone bill. You ain't doing none of that shit. So you don't get to tell me or anybody else when to stay off the internet. And you damn sure don't get to tell phone calls from prison what kind of content she can put on her damn page. How about you stop listening and you stop talking and we won't have shit to talk about. She go on and try to listen to stuff, you know, then you could say, oh, no, it's not. Because I would have to directly, you know, it would have to be something directly, purposely to that person, you know what I'm saying, to say it's some type of intimidation. Saying something to you when me and you are supposed to be talking and it's supposed to be a somewhat private conversation. It's not like we're talking out in public. Um, conversation and it wasn't even a, a, a conversation of threat it was just a, a conversation as a matter of fact and talking you know like the sun came out today you know i got no tennis shoes it was like that of a conversation it wasn't no oh guess what it da 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 no you know it, it, all it that wasn't just guess what you went in detail you said that the blogger goes to court she um does the court work she looks up the files she knows the um who the victim is um, you even mentioned at one point that the vic where the victim lived and, and that she's dating a white boy. And I mean, you really got in this lady's business. So that's why people are looking at you cross-eyed, Sonia, because why? Why are you doing all that? Because you know, at this point, you know the call is recorded too. It's almost like you setting this nigga up. Like, let's really break it down. You are not being a friend to him. And I damn sure ain't taking up with this raggedy dude. But the dude, one thing he does know is not to talk but so much. And he tries to shut you down, but you won't shut the F up. And he's trying to tell you, shut up. But no, son, you keep talking. So it almost looks like you are trying to set him up because you sitting here talking about a victim and giving all of these personal details on a recorded line that now you know you are fully aware by this time. February 11th and shit, and January, you were fully aware that we were listening to every fucking call. And if we're listening to every, oh, is it noon yet? It's not noon. I can't cuss. I got three minutes. Um, you knew full well that we were listening. So you were not only telling Ernesto, 
you are telling people who may support Ernesto. You the one say he got support. Now, I ain't even really seen it. I've seen about 10 to 12 people in your damn chat acting like they on your side and on his side. They, they remind me of them R. Kelly people. I cannot. I don't understand it and I can't do it. Okay. But nevertheless, you're, you're telling everybody something about this girl and you are making it unsafe for her. You are. And making it unsafe for him because it looks like he's a party to what you are saying. And if something comes back and happens to this girl, you know they're going to look at him and they're going to look at anyone around him, including and most specifically your ass. Because you're the one out here telling him the shit that a blogger told you. Hi, Minx. The way she tries to circumvent the conversation and the issue at hand is mind boggling and embarrassing as a black woman. It is. She literally, thank you for the super chat. Thank you. Okay. Um, this effort claims that's her job. She claims that her job is to come out here and change the narrative. All right. But the truth of the matter is she can't change the narrative. The narrative is the narrative. We're not stupid. People have literally done meticulous research. I just told, um, um, both actually, I, I, I had a little, you know, behind, behind the scenes, you know, brief conversation, nothing, you know, big or crazy, but I told both, um, Run woman vibes and real talk bougie, both of them. I think that they have done an excellent job of meticulously going through this man's life, <laughs> looking at the crimes, looking at the victims. I haven't done all that. I, I haven't. I'm getting the information kind of like y'all and I just come out here and talk my own shit about what we all heard together. Okay. That's mainly what I do. And I, and I'm okay with that. Okay. But I am grateful for the work that they did. What you say, Vicky Vell? What if hearing this, the victim hurts? Thank you. You don't know what this, what kind of circumstance this creates for this woman. You are making some assumptions, Sonia, that off the rift that the girl is lying. But what if she's not, Sonia? You know, you keep saying everything's one-sided, but you're only looking at one side. You're not being objective in any fashion, Sonia. If you just come out here and, and were to have said nothing, or you were always objective and you, your idea was, well, look, we got to look at both sides. Yeah, I see what they're saying, but the, you have said from the riff that, that the warrants are crazy, that they ain't got no um, evidence. Let me say this too. Okay, I know I'm going off. I'm ranting like her and I'm only three minutes into this video. I promise before the Lord, I'm going to let it play a little bit this next time, okay? But it bugs me to no end that Sonia continues to come out here and talk negatively about the bloggers when she, in fact, wants to be one. When she, in fact, started a whole channel to become one. Why? Because she saw bloggers out here making money and talking about her. But she didn't have enough discipline and consistency to come out here and do what she claimed she came out here to do. She came out here to change the narrative, right? She came out here to show her support for him. She came out here to show his side to the situation, didn't, didn't she? That's why she showed up. Hi, Sonia Caroline. Thank you for the super chat. Sonia telling us when we should be on the internet, like she was saying how um, SS, oh, Shirley Strawberry, should, should spend her money and what to do in her case, that's what I'm saying, in her career. Yeah, she's talking about what she needs to do with her job. That woman, child, like I said, I don't think Shirley is completely innocent in the sense that she wasn't aware of something or she wasn't willfully ignorant to what this dude was doing. But at the same time, I don't think she was a party to everything or, you know, or even anything that he was doing. I don't know. But at the end of the day, let's assume that she is innocent of all things and that she is just now trying to pick up her life and the pieces of her life because she is a public figure. And the only reason we are covering this case is because of Shirley Strawberry. And how dare you tell her, the woman who is 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 been married to this guy for nine years, he's been arrested three, four times. Now he... I, I, I honestly do not believe he's coming out. He will spend his time in jail until he makes it to prison after his 
his trial. I don't see him coming out. He has over a million dollars in bond coming out. What do you expect this woman to do? She's already spent over $70,000 in attorney's fees. So what the hell do you expect her to do? What is she supposed to do? She's supposed to be working. She's got to make her money back. We've discussed how they were evicted five times during their marriage. Shirley Strawberry, who makes, who was making half a million, about 400 plus thousand dollars a year. Okay. Who we heard recently through the grapevine that quite possibly, allegedly, she got a raise, right? But while she was making half a million dollars a year, they got evicted five times in the nine years they were together. Now, make that make sense. Something ain't right in that situation. So now that she's got rid of this dude who's been out here sucking her dry for financially and then out here with multiple women, all of his victims are women with the exception of one, I believe. But they're all women that all has something, some dealings with him that he turned into a, a, a sexual nature, okay, in some fashion. He, he managed to do that right and and so she's learning all this so i'm sure she didn't know everything because to, to be honest i don't think any of his friends in his circle know everything there is to know about what he had going on that's just that's just that he didn't know nobody knew everything because he's just that devious all right he knows he can't tell everybody everything because even his own best friends are judging him about some of this shit okay he got stuff related to animals children women i mean all kinds of sexual stuff okay it's a mess and so sonya wants to tell us when we what we need to do no son you need to shut the f up sit down somewhere if you done be done but you ain't done are you because you posted text messages last night you posted uh or not last night night before last that those shits are gone no they're gone why are you posting and deleting? You scared. You don't even have the you don't have the balls to be a blogger. That's what I think. Okay, we're going to listen. We're going to listen. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm ranting. Now, see, she got me ranting. Uh, but they was just trying to be messy as hell. And then they kept trying to come at her. But you know how they do with all our conversations. They always, and I told you this, they always be trying to get who are we talking about and say this We don't have to guess, Sonia. You talk too much. It's like me it was talking about furniture and they were trying to say that on the on the thing they were saying, Oh, Sonia's um telling him how Shirley's not calling or you know what I'm saying? Because I said radio. And I'm like, Y'all are dumb. Like, why would I be talking about her? You know, like I know people in radio. I know people in all walks of life. Y'all just think that's the go-to? That's the only person that works in radio? No, we know who like, you're and I don't about. even know. We know who you care about. We know. I was listening to an old call last night. I'm going to be honest. When that call, when, when you were telling a boy you wanted him to be your man, that was July. That was after you claimed y'all decided to be friends. But the text messages you dropped the other night happened prior to that call. And you called yourself dropping text messages to prove that y'all were just friends. But in the call a month or two later, you're over here telling him you want him to be your man. And you were mad because you were basically you were jealous of Shirley. You were concerned about how he felt about his wife in that moment. His motherfucking wife. His wife. Girl, are you kidding me? His wife. Let me play this shit. But anyway, I was listening to it. We might have to we might have to deep dive into that too. Oh her, so why would that be the person I'm talking about? You know, you're like y'all are dumb. But they make a mess. And this is why the lawyers and everybody should have shut the shit down. You know what I'm saying? Why the case was up and active because it's such a big mess now. It's like, I got to text you on some other stuff. But Who made it a mess? The people listening to what the fuck you said? Or the person who's saying they effed up shit? Who, who is really wrong here? 
we're wrong for listening. We wrong for listening to some shit on a recorded call for an inmate who has no rights. Do you understand that when you when you get locked up, you your rights don't exist? You ain't got no damn rights. What kind of rights he got? He's on a public line. At this point, he is property of the state, okay? Or the county. He, he property of Fulton County by way of Cobb County right now, okay? So who is wrong, Sonya? The person doing all the effed up talking or us for listening? Because the truth is, if you weren't saying shit, we wouldn't say shit. But whatever. It's just such a big fucking mess at this point. It doesn't even make any sense. And it's the bloggers that keep stirring the pot, stirring the pot, stirring the pot, and making big, big fucking issues out of nothing and trying to just run with some type of negative narrative all because they want you know you to be we are repeating what you are saying sonia we're not changing anything we're not guessing about anything not really hell if anybody guesses about some shit guess what happens the evidence turns up and the clarity comes Your mouth, you talk too much. You never shut up. You talk. guilty. They want it to be, you know, down this down up. Instead of trying to sit back, shut the fuck up, and find out what transpires or what happens in court, and let it play out in court like it's supposed to. You know, they're trying to make a old. You don't know shit. You got to go to court. And all y'all just jumped in this situation back in September when the uh, oh radio. Oh my god! Stuff. Wait a minute. Tion, what y'all, what you and uh, Sonya's hairline in here talking about? Tion over here talking about she going to the wall. <laughs> she going to, uh, damn, you got to go all the way to um, Grown Woman Vibes Wall from over here? Good God, you must have really been messing up. You going to the 504 wall? <laughs> all the way from the B. Lenore show. <laughs> so, so happy all of these bloggers are talking about it now because the bloggers that spoke about it in the beginning. They moved on to other stories. Don't even talk about this crap no more because they're the bigger bloggers, right? These little junior wannabe bloggers oh. keep trying to, you know, reinvent, reinvent, reinvent. Oh. And they got their little brainless oh. followers who just ride the wave with them like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, uh-huh, that's Wait true. a minute. Y'all going to let her talk about y'all like that? Is y'all going to let... So y'all going to let Sonya say that about you? I know I'm a junior vlogger, so I ain't hurt. But she gonna say that about you? <laughs> now I am. I am a junior vlogger. Okay, I'm up and coming. Okay, but uh, real talk, bougie and grown woman vibes and wisdom's daughter. They, they ain't. So don't be talking about them. Hmm. But she talking about y'all. Y'all gonna let her talk about y'all like that? What y'all gonna? What y'all gonna do? Hmm. Don't let her punk you. Okay. Just listen. Uh, y'all, what the fuck are y'all even talking about? What you talking about? dumb. It's been three years. Wow. It's been three years since since they're saying all of this stuff happened. They're saying it happened in 19 and 21. Now, we're in 24, and we're still going to court with no evidence to support anything. What are y'all even talking about? But these are people that have no type of insight. Yeah. Call Buddha. You got your phone? Call Buddha. They have no type of insight on um, on on how all of this is working. They're half-ass paying attention. They're coming in on the third, you know, on the third. It quarter. doesn't matter, Sonia. Look, she can be talking about me right there. Yes, I came in on the third quarter, but I've been watching um, the highlights from the first two quarters. And um, I get my highlights and my details that often get reiterated, thank the Lord. Um, by the people that I watch and that I, I support and that I um, I trust. And the reason why I trust them is because I can tell where they're, where the resource, like I, I understand where they're researching and when they present the research, it is what it is. Hi, 504, what you say? Coming from the woman who shops in the junior section. <laughs> So that's the real junior wannabe blogger, huh? Lord, and we don't care about the big blog. Who ever cares? I don't care about what somebody else is doing on their platform. And guess what? You 
all this talking you're doing, all this ranting, all these posts and deletes that you're doing, you're causing, you're bringing more attention to yourself and you're not an idiot. You know that you're bringing this attention. You like this attention. You don't care that we over here cussing you out and think you're disgusting for dating a married man and begging him to be your man while he's in jail. I mean, where does your self-esteem have to be where the man that you choose to say, and I heard it out, you know, I heard it coming out your own mouth yesterday when I was listening to that video again. And you were like, yes, I want you to be my man. This nigga is in jail for grape and, and child pictures. Are you freaking kidding me? Thank you, Minx, for being a member for a month. And we're going to continue to grow junior blood. Thank you. Thank you. I ain't mad at it. Yet, yeah, as a matter of fact, Sonia is growing junior blood. <laughs> but she can't grow herself. And that's the part. Now, look, get this. When she does post the video, she gets decent views. It's like, why are you taking them down? You're never going to make money if you take the if you take the video down. You're never going to make money if you're not consistent. Your whole goal for coming out here and creating a, a channel was to talk about this case and to help his case and to raise money for his case. Well, he need all the money he can get because his his um his bond is over a million dollars. And you can't even pay a damn portion of that, really, a good amount of it. The child. Wait a minute, hold on. Y'all, let me go back over to the star section. I just found this little section. I can't believe. Oh, Pamela, I'm so sorry. I missed some stuff. Pamela, the wire designer. Everybody take a deep breath and let the mouth marathon begin. <laughs> I gotta come over to this section, y'all. Forgive me, okay, for missing some of you. In these uh, YouTube streets, uh, thank you for your super chat. She mentioned texting him. I thought after 2-5, he lost the tablet and texting privileges. I heard the judge say that. You heard the judge say that. Then Sonya came out later and said he doesn't have to give up his tablet. The judge made a mistake. Now, the judge was wrong. Sonya is right. And so he can have his tablet. I think what happens is over at Cobb County, they have those tablets and they just let the inmates use them because they're over there. But I don't know if that's going to come back to bite him later. But then again, this dude, I'm sorry, y'all, I'm sorry, but he's not getting out of jail. I don't believe it. I do not believe it. I think he's going to, he's older gentleman. He's about to be 60 years old. I don't foresee him seeing another free day, honestly. And if that's the case, what's he got to lose by sending a, a couple text messages? <laughs> I guess. That's probably what he's thinking, like the hell with it. I'm gonna I'm do it till they catch me again. Uh, hi, CCB. Thank you for this. Okay, she's going to land herself in jail or knocked upside her head by the family that she claims is thugged out. This young lady is a, a, a child compared to her. Yeah, she's a child. If she's if, she, if the girl is 19 years old and we 55, 55, she's 55, I'm 54, okay? I'm much younger than her. I'm 54. <laughs> she's 55. <laughs> but that, that damn near could be her grandchild. Like, I'm not trying to be funny, but it could be. And in some scenarios, it has happened. So that, that woman could easily be her granddaughter. It's disgusting that he would even have any dealings that would put that girl in that type of position if she is telling the truth. But since we, we, you know, I think most of us believe her, at least the ones over here. I think we, we, after hearing so many people talk about this dude, I do believe that it happened. And how nasty and disgusting is he for his old ass self? doing all that bullshit. I'm sorry. Hi, Minx again. The way she tries to circum. Oh, okay. I caught that one. Thanks, girl. Okay. Vicky Vale said, what if hearing this? Okay. I got that one too. Got it. Got it. Thank you, Vicky Vale. Uh, yep. Yep. Got that one too. Sonia's hairline. 504. Uh, got it. Got it. Got it. Got Minx. Uh, 504. Uh-oh. Sonia, how's your junior blog page going? <laughs> exactly. She's scared of that damn page. Uh, does she think it was uh, consensual? That's the way she talks. 
she always says like, you know, they had dealings. This was a guy she was dating, you know, these, these people were dating him. They were dealing with him romantically. How'd she have this whole narrative, but he can't talk? It's weird that she think it was consensual. He's never denied having any relations with her. Why hasn't she questioned the character of a near 60 year old engaging with a 19 year old who father he was friends with? Now, let's be clear about something. You know, if we really gonna break some shit down, let's break it down. When you hear stories of even children, of children being M-word, I don't know if I can say it, I'll just say it once, molested. If you hear that happening to children being taken advantage of, you know it's typically somebody that knows the family. If it's not a family member, it's a friend of the family. It's typically not a stranger. When this happens, it's always someone familiar. So this nigga was sitting around th this dude and his daughter and, and got with the daughter, whatever it was, with the daughter. And that is sick and sad. Sick and sad. And this idea that just because the father has a criminal past and that the father is thugged out and that the father is dangerous, that don't mean shit to me because nine times out of 10, let me tell you something about a child or a young woman or a lot of people. They often, if they care, if they know about their family. Okay. Without going into detail, I'm going to just say this real quick. I'm not going into detail. Something, somebody tried something with me and I was, I was young. And I never told my parents. If any of you have ever talked or heard me talk about my mother in particular, um, I was raised in the house with both my mother and father, um, but my mother was the authoritarian. She was really the disciplinarian. She was the boss, okay? She was the boss of the house. My daddy was my safe haven, you know, my, my, my best friend, my, my, Partner crime, you know, we just, we were, we were thick as thieves, right? And, and my mother was tough. My mother, I always tell, I always say she was born a fighter. You know, that line in Color Purple, I had to fight all my, all my life I had to fight. Well, all her life she had to fight. She was a warrior. And, and she was one of the very first black female wrestlers ever, period. Okay. I'll talk about it again. I've, I have a video about my mom and her, her wrestling partners. It's an interesting story, right? Anyway, she will whoop your ass. Okay. She will, she would, my mother, I was telling people the other day, my mother carried a gun. Now at the time <laughs> she didn't, she legally owned the gun, but she wasn't supposed to be walking around with the gun. Okay. The gun, one gun was in her purse and we had two in the house. OK, as a little girl, as a little girl, my mother taught me how to get a gun, get it from I knew where I knew where it was kept. And she would have me practice retrieving the gun and getting it to her in a safe manner. Honey, we was ready over there. OK, we was ready to go. OK, I say all that to say. The person that tried something with me was close to the family and their family was close to my family. And because I knew my mother, because I knew how this would rip our, our relationships apart as far as family and my mother was liable to go to freaking prison or my father for that matter, I didn't say anything. Now that was me as a, as a young person. I'm not gonna say the age, as a very young person, my mind worked in a way where I knew I couldn't say anything because if I said something, my mother was gonna do something. My daddy was gonna lose it, okay? Now, I say all that to say, if she knows her father and she knows her father might be dangerous, what makes you think she didn't have those thoughts in her head? Maybe she didn't tell her dad for that reason. 
or if her dad is trifling as hell like his friend Nesto, then it is what it is. That's another reason why she might not tell the father. So I don't want to hear this bullshit about, well, why didn't she tell her dad? That don't make no sense. And this, that, and the other. Oh, it makes plenty of fucking sense to me. It makes plenty of fucking sense to me. I'm sorry, I'm getting a little upset now because you, you didn't. She done took me back. I done made this about me. Anyway, hi in the streets of YouTube. Thank you so much for gifting a membership. Science hairline. Can you go over here to Grown Woman Vibes wall? Okay, because you are really showing out today. Thank you both for gifting memberships, damn it. And don't be making me cry because I was about to get emotional here. <laughs> um, ugh. Let me see who the hell got memberships, damn it. Oh, my Lord. Not memberships. Okay, let me see. Uh, oh, thank you so much, y'all. So, Forever Tanaya, Empress Black Tarot, um, Bio Bru... Is it Bruh? 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 Y'all got to tell me how it goes, okay? I'm sorry. Um, thank you. Thank you so much, Bayou, for becoming a new member now. Um, shit, I can't even see. Hold on. <laughs> I'm like Sonya over here now. I can't see the name. I can't see it to pronounce it. It's, uh, is it Miss Tikalian? Is it Miss Tikalian? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we got six new six more members thank you please thank um the folks who who gifted you okay please thank sonya's hairline and in these youtube streets for your memberships thank you guys thank you ladies and gents i don't know i don't know who everybody is but thank you thank you ladies all right let's get back to this raggedy ass heifer trying to act like they can you know this is then, uh, they're giving all these overly strong opinions and situations. It's being messy as hell. So now they're mad at her. What I told her, uh, when we did the interview, when they got mad at her after we did the interview, I was like, the problem is you can't act. Bayou Bruja. Thank you, Bru Bayou Bruja. Thank you. I need the phonetic spelling. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. You support, uh, if anybody has a support him or, or say anything positive, everybody's going to come after you. They're going to come after you. I said that the main reason why they're hating me so badly is because I'm supporting him. Because what else is there? All, me and the other girls got everything up to go well. They did way more than me. So if they're trying to run with that one narrative, they can't, you know? What but, you say, um, just here to learn. Thank you for the super chat. That is why Dr. Maya Angelou did not speak for years. Let me tell you this. And then I'm going to stop talking about this shit because I didn't want to even go there. I wasn't even expecting to share that. And I haven't told you the real deal. I mean, you know, the details. But let me say this. Both of my parents went to their grave and I never told them. I did not speak on it. I spoke. I think I told two friends, two of my girlfriends. I didn't tell them until the late 2000s. I was in my 40s. 30, late 30s, early 40s before I, I shared it with anyone. But I didn't start really speaking about it until my mother and father both had passed away. Main reason why I didn't tell them too, like well, I said why I didn't tell them. But I also didn't, here's the other thing. Let me say this real quick. My mother, just like how she showed me how to retrieve the gun in the home. At When I say a baby, I mean, I was like three and four years old, y'all. I knew where the gun was. I knew I wasn't supposed to touch it or play with it. I knew where the bullets were. I knew how to retrieve it. This was long before people really talking about putting guns in safes and stuff. But I knew where it was. I knew where to get it. And I knew how to get it to my mother. In the same way she prepared me in that way, she would say all the time, damn near daily, if anybody touches you, you let me know. If nobody is to touch you here, there, or anywhere. If anybody tries anything, you let me know. Constantly, my mother said that. And even though that was ingrained in me, I knew what she would do if she knew. If she knew what that person had done, it would have destroyed. I, I don't know if it would have destroyed, but in my mind, I thought it would have destroyed everything. You know, 
It would have destroyed my family in many ways. And I didn't want that. So I said nothing about it. So to suggest that because somebody doesn't say something when the shit happens is disturbing and disrespectful as hell to me. It is so freaking disrespectful. So I do take it personally. I do. And people like Sonia are people who perpetuate that type of activity because th that's another thing. Someone like Sonia is going to attack you for saying something like that. Oh. Because I'm supporting him, that's a problem. It's none of your business. I don't owe them anything. I don't know them. I'm going to support the person that I know and I believe. And that's just what it what is. What you believe, Sonia? You're mad about it. That's fine. Why mad. you believe I don't you don't even know anything because you said he can't tell you nothing. You said you haven't had his had conversations with him because he's been locked up the whole time. You said you don't even know what happened. So what do you believe? But we do have details about this other shit. No, you bitches. I don't owe y'all shit. And I'm entitled to support who I want to support. Just like y'all entitled to support who y'all want to support. But then when y'all get, you know, when everything come to light and y'all gonna feel a little bit stupid, then what they're gonna try to make some other narrative up. Like they was mad about the charges being dropped, trying to say it was something else other than what it was. No evidence. Should have never been a charge. His, his warrant didn't match a, a, a warrant that they normally have for that type of charge. So you knew it was some bullshit. Why did they put the actual dates? Because they're trying to say this is what it was. They should have put the certain dates on that. But they did. They omitted a lot of things. So I think that whole whole CP bullshit was just a stall. Because as long as they didn't go to trial, it's something that they could use. as you know, just some bullshit as a stall. So let's just, let's, let's, we need something to hold them on. Well, let's say this. Let's say we found this. Because it never has to come to light unless we go to trial. But they don't care. I know. Don't don't comment on shit. Bitch, you, I'm sorry. Don't comment on shit. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to call her that. <laughs> she telling him don't comment on shit. You stop commenting on this shit. Why is you commenting on this shit, girl? I'm sorry. That slipped right on out. I'm sorry. I ain't mean. I ain't really mean to say that. But bitch, you try it. <laughs> what are you saying? Don't don't speak on it. Don't say nothing. You said too much. Huh? The truth is continue coming out. So Yeah, let the truth come out. And that's all they're gonna be mad at the truth. That's the whole thing. They're gonna be mad at the truth. But I but um but like I told her, I said you can't you can't be support you just have to wait and see what, what the outcome is, but you can't be supportive. You can't treat him as if he's human because they're mad that she prayed for you. You know, they're mad at this. They're mad. I said, they get mad over everything. You're dealing with bitter ass uh, women. That's the whole audience. You know, it's like five guys in the, in the room full of women. And these women are black and bitter. And I don't give a fuck. Why are we black bitter and blue? bitter? Why are we black and bitter? Because we can see and hear and decipher and critically think and comprehend what we read and hear. I don't understand. We're bitter bitches because you're aligning yourself with somebody accused of heinous crimes. I mean, everybody is not lying. Who the hell, as I asked you during our interview, Sonia, who the hell is Nesto? That a whole police department and, and the entire DA staff, everybody wants to come for Nesto. But you sound, you're the one that sounds bitter. I don't spend my time out here talking about black women and how terrible they are and black people and how everybody's ghetto and everybody's, you do that, Sonia. See, I love my people. I think we are the baddest things walking. I think we're the smartest, the most talented, the most powerful. We are we are everything everybody wants to be. Period. Period. You put us in any arena and we're going to blow everybody out the park. We're the baddest things walking. 
Now, the fact that you don't see that in your own people means you don't see that in yourself. And if you don't see that in yourself, that's why you're angry. That's why you're lonely. That's why you're bitter. It ain't got shit to do with us. That's why you align yourself with people like this. That is why you won't be happy until you find peace within yourself about who you are. I got news for you. You're black. You're a black woman who has lived a very questionable lifestyle when you claim you didn't even have to. So who's really the dumb dumb? Like it doesn't even make any sense to me. Why did you live the lifestyle you lived when you claim you came from money? Now that's what you said. I didn't say it. You said you came from money. Somebody hit me up in the um, DMs and said you grew up in a mansion. I don't know if that's true. I know your dad was in construction. He could either A, made a lot of money or built a very nice house for you. I don't know. But in, in either case, if that is true, why did you choose to live the lifestyle you led? It doesn't make any sense to me. Oh, Lord. Hey, 504, what'd you say, boo? Let me come on over here. Oh, God. V, baby, shake that Sonya ponytail hair off you, boo. Sonya is talking to herself, not us, love. She hates who she is. That's her problem. You're right. Let me stop because I am getting upset. I came out here very happy and I'm really in my fifis right now. And I can't blame her for that. That's just me recalling some shit and missing my own parents and thinking about how my, anyway, never mind. Let me, let me watch this. Let me listen. I sure do talk because that's the audience. One quick thing. Tawana, thank you. I received your, um, Kasha, thank you so much. And that's what we're dealing with. We're dealing with bitter black women <laughs> who are either so single they can't find a man <laughs> or miserable in the relationship that they're in that they got to push and just keep the hate going and not be open-minded and say, well, let's just wait and see what happens. Why are we jumping to conclusions when there's no evidence? It's just three people saying three different things and then we don't know neither one of them. You don't know none of these women at all. Oh, well, why would you? This is a, because, you know, all of our conversations get out. So <clears throat> the fact that I've had pulled all of their information and gave it to the defense, defense counsel. Oh, that's, you shouldn't do that. Oh, yes, you should. This is how court works. Because when it's a he say, she say, you got to bring any type of evidence to court that's going to support who to believe. So all of their information and, and, and background got to come to court. Just like all of his information they're trying to bring. Trying to try them on his background? Well, you need to try them on their background as well. It's fair across the board. We fought many cases like that in, in when I was working in criminal uh, law firms. We fought many cases like that because there was a lot of he say, she say. What nothing, you know, who to believe? Who do we believe? All right. Well, y'all trying to ride his background. Let's, what, what is hers? Is she a victim shame? That is victim shaming. Let's look into her background. Okay, let's look. Has she ever accused anybody of this before? Because even if she did, that wouldn't mean she's lying. But did she do that before? Because I haven't heard that. And you know what, Sonia? You do whatever digging you want and give to the attorney, but let the attorney handle it. While you are out here talking and 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 shaming, and you, honestly, you're not helping him. You are not helping him, but you too dumb to understand that, which is another reason why I don't believe you are a paralegal because the shit you say about the law doesn't make any damn sense. None. You certainly aren't a paralegal. And I don't know any paralegals who go to school to become a paralegal, work in law firms, making decent money doing that, and then decide to leave and become a bartender at a fucking strip club. I don't know them. I don't know those people. And then that could be your career your career path was the strip clubs, but you didn't even do that consistently. Like Sonya, what? Let me, let me, and, and let me say this too. You're the one who is bitter and can't find a man. I'm gonna tell you why I know that. Cause you went looking for one in jail. See, see, you looked for him and found him in jail. I don't give a damn how single I ever, because trust and believe, being single is a choice. It's a choice. 
we can all have a man. I can get one too right this second. They, they always in my DMs, in my text messages, and in my voicemail. Men call me. Men know me. Men take me out. Okay? But if I wanted one, I wouldn't have to go to jail to choose one. I wouldn't have to go to the jail. That's who you chose. You tracked this nigga down out of state into a jail and then moved from Florida to Georgia to be close to him. Who's desperate? Who's lonely? Bitch, bye. Triple honest person? Or is she out here breaking the law? Or is she out here doing this? Or is she out here being messy? You know, because one of the three women do have a criminal background. So, so you. Oh, really, two. I'm sorry. So, two people. So, so what? So what? I don't give a fuck. If they got a criminal background, what's that got to do with this? Did this criminal uh, uh, victimize them? What the fuck is that got to do with anything? Girl, don't make me mad on this damn Friday. Got a criminal background, you know? I forgot about Erica. Got a criminal background. So y'all want to, you know, throw his situation on, on something that he did when he was in his early 20s in his face. And so, yeah, you did it because back in when you were 20, you did this. Okay, when bad. he so, was 50 and 60 or 50s, he's been doing this bullshit. Have you noticed? If he's been arrested before, no convictions. I understand. But why is he constantly being arrested? Why? Why? Hi, Shiro. Thank you. I think I, uh, wait, is it Shiro? Shirock? I can't say. I'm sorry. Thank you so much for becoming a new member. Thank you. Oh, Jesus. Oh, wait. Okay. Ah, Sonya Taylor. Don't make me lose it. How they live? Sonya's hairline. I feel sorry for Sonya going through life without knowing what it is or how it feels to be truly loved from childhood to adulthood. Sonya's hairline. Thank you freaking so much for your cash app. I mean, for your uh, super chat, praise God. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Oh, gosh. And let me see. Is it Shy Shira? Maybe Shira. Welcome as a new um, <laughs> welcome as a new member. Sonia's hairline, if you, would you go to that damn wall already, please? Would you go? Sonia's hairline, thank you for the super chat. Amen, B. Lenore. Say it again in the real... For the real people in the back. <laughs> yeah, for the people in the back. Shout, thank you, babe. I just, I don't know. She done fired me the hell up today. Just, you know? Fine. Oh, no, that's, you shouldn't talk that way about victims. What makes them a victim? Oh, you're victim shaming. I'm not victim shaming. All I'm saying is they came with a story, and I don't believe it. So just like y'all trying to say, y'all don't believe him? You want me thank to you, Stephanie. Welcome. Oh, I'm going to the south. Hi. No. <laughs> um, these pants, these pants. Anyhow. Today is Sunday. Huh? Today, I got to text you. I got to text you what the, what, what the, uh, Andy going to take a picture? You like it? Oh, Firewall, who says that? V, stop sending people to my wall. And I'm not trying to, I saw in the, in the chat, y'all was sending each other to the wall. And so since I saw, that uh, uh, Sonya's hairline or somebody had already been sent to the wall. I said, y'all going over there to uh, grow on the wall, turn around, go to the corner. Don't just go to the wall, go in the corner, face the corner, okay? And we'll tell you when y'all can come out, damn it. <laughs> y'all can't come out until Grown Women Vibes goes live, okay? <laughs> Danielle, welcome as a new member, y'all. Welcome as a new member. And dog on it. Hey, oh. hey, my mangoes. As a matter of fact, I am drinking right now mango cranberry juice. Hey, my mangoes just gifted five more memberships, damn it. You people are a freaking mess. Let me see who the hell just got uh, uh, damn gifted. Ooh, Monique's World, Destiny to Be, um, Dion Dondiva, Azure, and Julia Sutton. You all got gifted. Please thank 
Hey, my mangoes for your membership. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> you got a what now? <laughs> yeah. I'm not doing I need to, you know, oh, hello. Yeah. Yeah. I need to kill me. I've been down for that. Anyway. These people just don't really believe. Let me tell you, you can't even tell me these people are supposed to be Christian. You can't tell me that. You can't even tell me that. They so negative, one-sided, closed-minded, and they and they hate. And they act like these women are victims, like, got beat up, got, you know, brutalized, hospitalized. They're, they're talking about them like that, you know. And I was like, okay, so all these women saying is that they gave them gas the money. It's a one-sided story. You don't know what transpired. You don't know the whole story. You don't even know if the police sat there and twist this shit to make it sound like a crime. Because the police department is not a credible police department that's even involved. Sonia, how do you know so much? Do you know? Hi, Shell. Hi, Joanna. How, how do you know what's going on? I'm trying to understand this. How do you know? Her daughter, would you go to the corner too? Please go to the wall too. <laughs> huh. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. And thank you as well, her daughter. Um, Sonia, how you know so damn much? Why is it we don't know shit, but you know everything, but we read and reports and shit and, and looking at uh, videos and research, but your ass is listening to somebody who ain't telling you nothing. You claim that y'all haven't had the conversation. He says he's not guilty and that's it. And now you are making up scenarios in your head. It makes no fucking sense. Ugh. So you don't even know if it's them trying to make something out of it because they just want him. Because all of this what? stuff they're talking about happened three, four, five years ago, and they didn't come for it. The police went to them with a conversation like, "Hey, yeah, what happened with such and such and such and such?" Okay, back. Well, you know, you know, what I'm saying like. So what does that tell you? That tells me these women was just trying to get through the shit. They were trying to either deal with it mentally, financially, whatever it is. They were just trying to regroup. They probably didn't think they had enough proof. They probably felt like no one was going to listen. They may have been intimidated by him. I mean, there are so many reasons why people don't commit, I mean, don't uh, report crimes committed against them. So many. There's so many people I could have sued, filed charges against. I mean, if you're going to do everything, right? But sometimes you, even with big stuff like this, Sometimes people don't want to be humiliated in, in the way that uh, uh, you're trying to humiliate these people and discount their situations. If the police did happen to interview people around Nesto and found out he was doing all these different things and they were able to let the folks know, look, that's a crime. And look, would you be willing to be a witness? Because if he did this to you, maybe we can rectify it. I mean, what is the problem with that? It makes no freaking sense that you don't see it that way. Oh, I'm sorry. I see a comment. Um, Lenore, but she only keeps talking about the SA charges. That's true. Well, charges, she rarely speaks about the theft. Oh, no, no, no. The theft, she doesn't call that theft. Y'all know what the theft is. Put the theft, put what she calls the theft stuff. Y'all put that Put that in the chat. I don't even have to say nothing. She don't. She doesn't talk about that as much anymore because she lumps it all and says that it's wrong. Yes, yes. Thank you, thank you. It's civil. So you know she's established. It's civil. See, the theft is civil because they were dating or because he had a romantic involvement with these women and they gave him money and why they keep giving him money how many times have y'all heard a story where you said to yourself damn he he gave you gave him money and he didn't produce what he was supposed to and then you gave him some more money do you know that happens more often than not do you know that it happens that the person is giving more and more before they realize this person is not going to do what they said they were going to do. It has happened to a lot of us. And most of us did not report that shit. 
Like, come on. And thank you, thank you, thank you, Monique's World. You gifted a damn membership. And who got it? Who got it? Who had got it? Miss Unique? Or Miss, is it? Yeah, I think it's Unique. Miss Unique, she got it. She got it. Thank her. Thank her in the chat, please. Yes, it's civil, y'all. The theft is civil. You know? Okay. Um, Let's see. So Stephanie's a new member. Let me go back over here. Danielle McGee is a new member. Thank you, Danielle, for becoming a new member. Um, let's see. Trey Losum, a Sonya girl would not shut up. Go eat a sandwich. <laughs> she needs a burger. She needs a whole burger. <laughs> Thank you again, my next world. Uh, none your business. None your business said Nesto got worms. There I said, damn. Stephanie. Jesus. Stephanie, thank you. Oh my God, Stephanie done gifted y'all. Who did Stephanie just gift with a doggone membership, damn it. Okay, let's see. Stephanie just gave memberships to Tasha Awesome, Miss Grace, Night skin, uh-uh, not night skin. Uh, sea blue and dab. Thank you, Stephanie. Stephanie H9. Thank you so so much for the membership. Okay, let's listen to this. And I, I believe that's what happened. I believe the, the police because of how the day went with the uh interviews and stuff. It was after they got your phone, you know, and they went to your phone. And was looking at and just trying to figure out, you know, and then start talking to people and, and trying to, oh, can you come in and talk to us? You know, because a one situation girl said it happened in 21. So if she felt like it was a crime in 21, why didn't she say something in 21? This was, this was the end of 22. If she felt it was a crime. The same thing with other girl. If she felt it was a crime, all that stuff happened at the end of 21. When she went to the police in June, of 22, why didn't she report all of that stuff that transpired if she felt it was a crime? Or if she felt scammed or she felt some type of way, you know? When you went to South Fulton Police, how come you didn't say something then? You know, only thing you spoke on was the car. Okay, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Uh, these people who thought all this, uh, assuming and <laughs> accusing... These all, what? All these <laughs> people that's doing all this putting stuff out there, this uh, unknown information, uh, that stuff is just nothing. It's so huh? I got hurry. I just bought two out of the house. Okay, I got to stop for a second. Um, thank you, Amber, for the cash app. Thank you, Phyllis, for the cash app. Thank you to everybody who is... Um, who is growing my channel right before my eyes. Thank you so much. Thank you for helping me build this community. Thank you so much. I appreciate each of you. It is not lost upon me that this story really has sh shifted the direction of my channel in some way. And um, I'm so grateful to the ladies I keep mentioning. Um, I'm, I'm grateful to them because you know, oh, okay. Let me, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about it after this. Right, let's get through this. I'm like a drug dealer. In the the horn. Okay. Look and see what you want to see. Yeah. And then let me know. All right. Hello. Yeah. Uh... All it is is bloggers and they follow us. Okay, Andy. Nice to see you, honey. All, all it is is, um, uh, bloggers and they, and they little uh, minions. But what they're doing is they're, they, they're making because they want these stories to be so this, that, and the other. They're making it. They're making a mess of shit. And so now they're all trying to be trying to gang up on Sylvia because she's not paying like she was in the hate crowd uh, like before. Like when I did the Tasha K interview 
It was her, Tasha. Oh, wait other- a minute. Vicky, I'm just now actually reading your <laughs> actually reading your super chat. She said, Vicky Bell says, Sonya needed a protein bar on this call. Oh, she hangry. <laughs> Is she hangry? Lord have mercy, Jesus. Um, <laughs> love joy. I'm really starting to think Sonya is not human. I've never encountered anyone like her. I'm telling you, no compassion. No, but y'all, this is the woman who says she didn't speak to her dad for two years or a year. Okay, I'm gonna say two years. I'm almost certain she said two years prior to her dad's death. And so at the funeral, she didn't want to cry because she didn't want to be fake. That's what we're dealing with. A girl who brought all my information out and this other chick who brought out the shooting information, right? Um, they did this little foursome uh, recap. Bye, bye, both. They about to pour some recap crap out, and they started, like, going in, you know, all of them together. She was part of the little hate, you know, circle. And the more and more, she just kept looking at the... Oh, you're going to keep me here. Well, don't leave me. Let me know when y'all ready to leave. Okay. Okay. Um, she, um, she started looking at... Because she's more in the court system than the rest of them. The other ones don't go to court, don't follow cases like that. She did. So she was just looking at everything and seeing that this don't make sense, this don't make sense. You know, so she was like, oh, like, it doesn't look like what they're trying to say it is. So that's why more so she had moved towards being open and saying, I don't think, you know, I don't believe this happened. I don't believe that happened, you know. But Okay, but- LaVita, thank you so much. Thank you, LaVita, for the cash app. Let me say this. Um Sonia, you don't have to worry about Sylvia getting uh, ganged up on because honestly, I ain't seen nobody gang up on her. Now, maybe I'm missing something, but I do not recall anybody ganging up on Sylvia, especially not about no damn Ernesto. Let's be clear about that. I have not seen it. I don't know if uh, the people in the chats are doing it, but I doubt it um, because where would she have seen that? That I don't think people are actually going to her. Ch- I mean, people may, there's probably a, a few stragglers that go over there and give her some shit, right? But she has moderators and they can control that. As far as the bloggers, I have called out a few things because I've literally had conversations with Sylvia. I've had her on my channel and there are things that she said regarding the R. Kelly uh, situation that were bothersome to me. And then to see all of this other stuff play out, she made herself content. People are talking about Sylvia because she decided to go uh, uh, visit this man, knowing that it was going to be caught on video and knowing that it was going to get played on YouTube. But she didn't even let uh, phone calls from prison use that. She literally plays her own shit. So if that is not somebody who is trying to make themselves content and who has made themselves content, I don't know. But let me tell you this. You don't have to worry about people ganging up on Sylvia because the truth of the matter is if they didn't gang up on her about R. Kelly, now that's the one. That's the one people gave her shit about because nobody could understand how you could side with this dude or why you were having sex, phone sex with his tour manager and showing your body parts while you're supposedly a married woman yourself. Is this side chicks unite? Like, what the hell is this? Like, who? how are you a whole married woman acting like a side chick? Like, I don't even understand that. So if anybody is is messing with Sonya, them R. Kelly, anybody who was against them R. Kelly um, uh, uh, thing she was doing, that's who giving her the most business. And the fact that she got through that and then came over here and did the same bullshit again, she likes that attention. So don't worry about how people feel about Sylvia because Sylvia ain't worried about it. Sylvia likes it. Sylvia likes the attention, and that is what it is, and I said it, okay? Hi, Lovejoy. I'm really, st- oh, yeah, that's the one. I already got that one. I keep, um, that happened with um, Grow Woman Vibes the other day. She was saying how she keeps seeing the same one again. Uh-uh, Wisdom's Daughter. I'm a, Wisdom's Daughter. <sighs> Thank you, Wisdom's Daughter. <laughs> Thank you, Wisdom's daughter. She just, oh, 
child. Now, Wisdom's daughter was probably ganging up on Sylvia. <laughs> no, Wisdom's daughter. They probably think me and you. If anybody says anything about Sylvia, really, because I don't really think Grow Woman Vibes and, and Real Talk Bougie really talk that much. I mean, she comes up. But they ain't really talking about her. But you and I have probably had more conversations about her because we've had probably more interaction with her than they have. You actually met her. Wisdom's daughter, as a matter of fact, I want you to tell me all about that when y'all got together and stuff. Go check out Wisdom's daughter. Um, she just had did a whole dossier on Sylvia's um, behaviors on YouTube. Uh, so please check her out. Let me see. Who did you dog on uh, gifts, Wisdom's daughter, damn it? Jesus, y'all ain't shit. Okay, let me see. Wait, Mac can't even acting like Sonya. Gotta give me some reading glasses, child. Wait a minute. Uh, Shella's. Okay, wait a minute. I can't get to you, Shella. Wait, hold on. Where are these memberships? I can't see it. Um. Where'd they go, y'all? What? Okay, there they go. There they go. There they go. Oh, my God. She gifted 10 memberships, everybody. So, okay. Oh, Lord. Trina, Mimi, I think, it, or is it is it Mimi or Mel Me? Um, is it Reefs and Muff's mom? All. Oh. Hey, my mangoes got a membership. Um, Todd, is it Taddy Jackson? Ingram Taylor, Cynthia M. Everybody, please thank uh, Wisdom's daughter, Lisa Girl, um, and Double H. I think that's what it says. Uh, Y'all, thank Wisdom's daughter. Thank you, Wisdom's daughter. That was so sweet. Okay, and then let me get to this lady right here. <laughs> v, you better not cry. You've worked hard, everyone. Thank you so much for supporting and showing love to me and the show. Thank you so much, Shell Loves. I love you. I love you. Oh, and Traylon Sum is a new member and then gifted damn five new memberships. I am so, I cannot. I cannot with y'all. Thank you. Butterfly 23, Danny P, um, Miss Grace 222. Oh, no, I'm sorry, Miss Grace. Maybe you'll get one next time. I'm sorry, but you already have one. <laughs> um, uh oh, it's going so fast. Mons 820, Sleepy Libra 17. Thank y'all. Thank you so much. Okay, no, no. Uh-uh. No Sonya's hairline. Oh my God. Sonya's hairline. I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting, um, Sonya's hairline just gifted 20 memberships. Oh my Jesus. D. Reed, Dana Folden, Bridget Shepard, Truth Religion, Joanna, you got gifted. That that girl Shelly, Tina Jefferson, Miss Tasha G, Miss Dimples, Overcomer, <laughs> Danny, Wisdom's daughter. See how that goes. You bless somebody, and they bless you back. Ain't that something? Tavia wins. Uh, is it Rakia, uh, TBA, MM1, I believe it is, uh, CDE, Messy Missy, 504, come on through, girl. You got a new membership, girl. I said what I said, damn it. I said what I had said. Y'all, all of y'all got gifted memberships by that damn son's headline. Oh. Sonya's hairline. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You are, you know what, lead, the lead attorney, you know, he always does the sponsor of the show. 
Sonia, you the sponsor of this damn show. This your show. The hell? Thank you, girl. Fairy Cherry, thank you for your super chat for the collection plate. You are preaching today, Pastor V. Oh, thank you so much, sweetheart. Thank you. Okay. I'm sorry. Science Hairline, you are the you are the damn sponsor. I'm just gonna leave this up here for a while because you the damn sponsor. That, that damn 504. Now she done did something too. Now she done gifted people too, damn it. I do not freaking know about you. You people are something else. Okay, let me see some here. Mm, 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 mm. I cannot. I cannot. All right, NG, NJ Fly. Uh, Michelle Flimpy. Alfia Vlogs. Uh, D Scott. All of you have been gifted a doggone membership from FIFO. So thank us. Oh, my God. You can come off the wall now, 504. <laughs> you and Sonya's hairline, y'all should just, just chill out. You know, you're good. You're good. Your punishment is over, okay? I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a send a message over to um, Nyla, see if she'll give y'all a pass. But um, y'all can come off the wall from over here, okay? Okay. Come on off. Thank y'all. You're so sweet. I love you. <laughs> okay, here we go. Of course, that was her. You know, being open minded and, and, and open enough to say, why was I just riding this hate train? You know, da 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 now, Let me tell you what's fucked up, Sonia. What's fucked up is the way you talk about these victims. What's fucked up is that you are trying to justify your actions and, and, and uh, Sylvia's actions. What's fucked up is you are assuming that these people are lying, but you, you have no doubts that this career criminal is telling the truth. What's fucked up is that you were dating a married man. What's fucked up is the fact that you traced him down, tracked him down in jail and moved across state lines to support him. What's fucked up is that even once you knew he was married, that didn't stop you. What's fucked up is even though he was married, you sat out here and you called and talked to him on the phone and put money on his books and went to see him knowing he's a fucking married man. That's what's fucked up. What's fucked up is you sat and participated in a situation where this man told his wife who was paying for his lawyers that she cannot talk to her, his lawyers, but you can. What's fucked up is the way you talked about this man's son uh, uh, and his sexuality and the possibility of, of another being um, uh, basically questioning the sexuality of multiple children of his and he sat there and let it happen what's fucked up is how you have talked about his wife's child and his daughter you know what's fucked up sonia what's really fucked up is you you're fucked up that's what's fucked up now they're mad at her because she don't want to crucify you she don't want to run with the narrative that you did it why can't y'all just accept the fact that she's got a different opinion and disrespect her different opinion. It's not, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's crazy to me that they doing all of this hate, all of this, this, all of this, this, like they doing some real shady shit, you know, against her, all because she's being human, she's being open-minded, she's looking at the facts and not running with the hate narrative like the rest of these, you know, bumbling idiots. It's just, it's just us. Uh, Amazing. So I'm like, so they don't know. They, they hate you more than they hate me, which is amazing, you know, because they, you know. Oh, yeah, I don't hate neither one of y'all because honestly, I don't have the energy. You know, in order for me to hate somebody, I have to have loved them. I have to have had some real passion about a person in order to have hate for the same person. Because, you know, when they say there's a thin line between love and hate, that's a real thing. That's a real thing. Most people who are hated were once loved. Now, it may not be the case in every instance, but it is it is it tends to be the case. And I ain't never had no love for neither one of y'all. So I damn sure can't hate you. 
I don't think about you enough. So, so this I sign this hairline. Wait, did I just see science hairline? Okay, is that the last one? Maybe I'm just behind in this. Science hairline, please tell me that. Science hairline. Okay, thank you. <laughs> 504 gave me and your hairline. <laughs> yeah, your hairline's fucked up too, Sonia. <laughs> but wait a minute, Sonia's damn hairline. God dog it. The hell is going on around here today? What the hell? Okay, Christina G, Love Nona Creations. Um, I can't pronounce the, is it Nobi Dang? I hope I got that right. Please let me know if I got it wrong. You you were gifted. Uh, is it Talisic? Ta Talisilk? Help me with that. I'm so sorry. You were gifted though, boo. Um, and T.O. was gifted. Sharon W. was gifted. Um, she ain't, sh wait, she ain't an introvert? Oh, she ain't an introvert. Was gifted. Um, and they call me Mo. Was gifted. Dog on it. Obsessed with a mess was gifted. It's cat. Oh, it, what? Is that it? It's cat? I think I said that right. Uh, is gifted as well. Oh my God. Y'all are a mess. Thank you, Science freaking hairline. Damn you. Oh God. Damn you, Science hairline. <laughs> the sponsor. The show sponsor, damn it. Oh my gosh. Thank you, boo. So they get a lot of people that you know that support and and free nest. So I got a. I said there was a fifth. I guess they saw that phone call, that visit, and it was like free nest. So, <laughs> and uh, yeah. you know, you had a lot of one guy was like, "Let me know if he did anything." Like you get a lot of support oh, on my situation, of course, because I I always say you know positivity, and if you do have a, a question. That you know, whether it's in support of or not, as long as you're respectful, ask it, say it. I don't have a problem with that, you know, because I'll answer a question if I can. But again, I tell them everything is just my opinion. Got it. You Thank know, you. I, I couldn't see. Tall as silk. Thank you, tall as silk, for the for the cash chat. I mean, for the super chat and welcome as a member. Okay, follow up. What the hell are you saying now? Science Airlines said Erica's food stamps. Wait, uh-uh, not Eric. Oh, sold Eric's food stamps. I don't know his defense. I don't know his side of the story. So I can only speak on what I read, common sense, and, and my experience in court and criminal cases to say this, that, and the other. That's it. I said, that's all I can do. But I can't I can't say anything more than that. So he, hold on, you heard his case. I can't hurt his case because I don't know his defense. I've ne he's never told me anything about any of these relationships or any of these scenarios with these women. So how do you know that it's not true? If he hasn't even said anything, you don't know any details, but all of these women are coming out and saying this shit, why don't you believe at least one of them? And if he did it to one, that's more than enough for me. That is too fucking many for me. Mm -mm -mm. This is ridiculous. So I can't hurt his case because I don't know, nor have I ever said, you know, well, he told me this and he told me that. And he told me that. All I think I say was he didn't make that girl to ask her. He got, to his son got shot. I said, that's it. I said, that's the only thing we said. We said that on the phone. He didn't make that girl to ask her his son was shot. And that doesn't hurt his case. I want to know why she, she is so stuck on that. Don't you think that the police have evidence of either a text, a call? something, maybe an email, there's probably a DM, there is probably some form of evidence to prove when she became acquainted with this man. This man is a liar. This man, we've heard lie. This man, we've heard him switch and change narratives. When he's talking to Dre, he's one way. When he's talking to you about Dre, it's another. He talks about his son to you. He's saying shit about Lamont to you. And then when he's talking to 
Dre and them, he's he's kind of brushing you off. Like, what? The, don't you get it? Why don't you understand what's going on here? This is stupid. You've heard him do that because we heard him and we know you're out here listening to the calls just like us. Just like us. So don't even play like you haven't heard this nigga switch up a story, lie, and, and finesse a situation. Why would you think he's not doing that with you, especially since he can't solidify, he can't say any concrete uh, storyline about what happened because it's on a recorded line. Sonia's hairline, I sold a lot of Sonia's ponytails. <laughs> Shut up. And meet her till after. She's trying to say something happened nine months before he met her. That's all. You know, and the phone records support that. Yeah. But other than that, I don't know Wait, anything you're else. You're talking about phone records? I'm talking about them too. Sonia, have you seen the phone records? No. Do you think Nessa wants you to see the phone records? Hell no. You will see them in court when we see them. If we go to court, we. If he goes to court, because if he goes to court, I'm going to court too, child. I'm going to be I'm gonna be somewhere in the vicinity, okay? I'm going to be in the vicinity. Show Liz. I show Liz, all right? As a matter of fact, y'all, I'm going to be in Atlanta from like the 16th of April till about the 20th. Might have to do a meetup. God forbid there be a court case, child. Might stay a little longer. Because unless he talked talk about it on the phone, which he's not allowed, I don't know. You know, I don't know. So I can't hurt his case because one, I don't speak of the victim other than I say I don't believe it. So one side of story. So I'm I'm not gonna believe him. I'm gonna believe him. I don't know them. And it don't and the evidence ain't supporting it. So Hey, y'all got and, a, a friend that you know is less than honest about shit. So what they tell you you kind of take with a grain of salt. That's how she should be functioning with this nigga. Okay. Because he's a liar and a, and a career criminal. He's not somebody who did an act one time or had a phase in his life. No, that phase has continued on into his motherfucking 60s. Okay. And if, if you're in a, if you have a career criminal in front of you, you have a liar in front of you because there's no way for him to continue in that path without being a liar. Okay. So, why are you believing the words of a liar? That's not, you know, intimidation. I don't believe them. That's not intimidation. Like they sound so stupid and they're so He's reckless not. on how they're be how they're behaving. And one of these clowns is an actual attorney. In these streets, in the YouTube streets, Erica beating your ass on sites on you. <laughs> You always got her name in your mouth. Well, you know what? The only reason Erica might not be her ass on site is because Paul, Paul L, Erica, and I ain't even trying to say poor Erica, but you know, that girl's sick as a dog. Okay. You see how she blowing up off them steroids. I think, that, I think she's probably taking steroids to have, um, you know, beefed up like that and, and to know that she's uh, sick like that. So child that's the only reason why she won't but if she won't she might do something my husband might do something beware of air tags oh shit we talking about sylvia again <laughs> that's uh sonya better to be you know they met in person sonya might need to be careful about them air tags where you bullshit hmm because i think i think sylvia be getting sweet on these people I think she'd be crushing on folks. So I think she crushing on this though. Wait. Attorney, and she's up with the nonsense. And she's up with the messiness and stuff. I'm sitting there like, oh, you're not even being professional. You're not even being ethical. You're supposed to be an attorney. And you just as messy as the other little, you know, side hand or chap, whatever. Wait, did she call us? Did she call it, it Pam? I thought her Pam say something about her husband. Is she coming for Pam? How's Pam? To be quite honest, when I've heard Pam come out here, she literally speaks to the law itself. She literally speaks to the possibilities, even things that are possibilities that are in favor of him. Like she said that he was um, eligible for a bond um, months ago, but they just hadn't done it. And she didn't know. And she said maybe his attorney didn't speak up like they needed to speak up. But at the end of the day, she has spoken very as, as objectively as possible. She probably 
probably has her opinion. Yeah. Like the rest of us. Because we see this shit. And you see it too. And the fact that you just hold on to some foul ass shit is crazy. And that's why you get the karma you get. That cray cray, girl. Too much. True merch. Never. Okay. Shut down. Okay. That's great. Well, hey. It's crazy. I ain't, I ain't, I'm just going to say, I'm not going to let these folks kill my joy. No, no, you can't. I just, I just don't want them because what she was saying was, hold they're on, saying, on. Somebody got to say him. Go ahead, what now? What she was trying to trying to say today was, oh, it's making the uh the victim scared. I was like, how they gonna be scared? Scared of what? Did nobody? I said that man that never part, had Danielle. Don't come for Pam, a whole freaking attorney, and you're over here a fake ass paralegal. Are you kidding me? Girl, bye. Anything ill to say about them? Ever and none of these phone calls, which that's why y'all should let phone calls and videos out because you're right. hearing things, you know what I'm saying? Which one, he never had an attitude. He always said it was the courts and the police that twisted the shit. He never said anything about them, never had any type of nobody said anything ill about him. All I said was, I don't believe him. And that's not, you know, that's just a, a matter of a fact. Just like to say, or oh, I believe him, I don't believe him, or, I believe him, that's nothing, you know. I said, oh, Trina B said, damn, I forgot Nesto was on the phone. <laughs> she is just going on and on and on and on and on and on and on. But she ain't hurting this case, though, child. She ain't hurting this case. How was that? Or how was any of that? Or how is he saying, which on the jail call, y'all should, the thing of it is, is what the court should have told these bloggers is, if they discuss anything regarding the case, you can't air it. That's what they should have told them. Yep, anything good. discussing the case or the witnesses, because we're allowed to talk, you know, they're not allowed to air it. Y'all allowed it to be aired. So if y'all allowed it to be aired, which that's on y'all. But it, again, nothing was said in a threatening manner. Nothing was said in an intimidating manner. I just laughed and was like, anyway, you know what I'm saying? Yes, 504. She went all the way to Vegas to watch the Super Bowl on TV and won't let this nigga watch it in jail. Now, think about this. Let's just talk about it for a second, okay? We, 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 we only got eight more minutes to this. It's cool. Let me just say this real quick. Can you imagine, first of all, I can barely imagine it, but I, I guess I got an idea of what it must be like to be in jail for two years. In jail, without the bail, okay? In jail, waiting to figure out when you're going to prison. In jail, just sitting there with all kinds. Because y'all understand, please understand, that going to jail is much worse than going to prison. Do you understand me? When you go to prison, you tend to be... Uh, you're placed in certain prisons based upon your crime, right? So whether it was a state crime or if it was a federal crime. My understanding, I could be wrong because I ain't never been to either. But I understood that federal is easier time. That That's what I thought. I could be wrong. If y'all heard something different, y'all can put it in the chat. But my idea, my thought is the federal time is, is better than the state time. And then consider this. When you are in these prisons, they also divide you up. There's minimum security. There's maximum security. It's based upon, you know, the crime you did. So nine times, if you did some little petty theft, you might not be in, in there with a murderer. You know what I mean? You might, you not, you may not even be in the same prison or the same area, whatever. Okay. It might be different. But when you're in jail, you're all lumped together. OK, you may have jaywalked and this nigga over here done killed his mama. OK, that's some shit right there. OK, <laughs> so this dude is in jail for two years. He don't know what's going on. The only time he has a little bit of peace is maybe TV when they all agree on what it is they want to watch. I'm sure that you hear uh, stories all the time about fights in jail or prison about what we're going to watch on TV. 
shit breaks loose, okay? But on this very day, we can expect that most of the people in there probably want to watch the Super Bowl. These are men. The, major the majority of men, black or white, uh, uh, want to watch, you know, the Super Bowl. Even They don't watch the rest of the year. Um, and so here it is, Super Bowl Sunday, and this bitch is ranting and raving, won't let him get a, a, a word in edgewise, and is, in, is talking about some shit only to worry him further. Now, this your woman. This the person, this your, this your coach, this your advocate, this your best friend, this your ace. And this bitch is calling you with some foolishness about the blogs, about what we saying out here, about what we saying about what she has said. We can't say nothing. We would have nothing to say if she wasn't out here running her damn mouth. If she wasn't out here making this shit interesting, it'd be nothing to watch. So now you're gone, son, you're right. So that means you ain't going to post no more. You ain't going to post no more videos, no more text messages, nothing on your community wall. You have just, you've disappeared. You're on your way to Africa. And we're never going to hear from you in real time again. Now, we're still going to review the last few months or years of you talking shit and, and, and trust and believe. Trust and believe. We're going to make the most of it. So get used to it. Science hairline. Did she call Pammy Pam a clown? Yeah. She's a freaking idiot. I'm going to call Pam a clown because Pam is telling you about the fucking case. Excuse me. Look, I'm cussing again. I'm cussing again. Let me stop. She sent me the picture. I didn't, you know, I didn't ask for her. I didn't need to see him. I didn't care to see what the girl looked like, you know. So, and then we went on talking about something else. And then they sat there and assumed it was her with me. It was Talk, I was talking about two different people that day, two different Shut bloggers. Up, you are and they don't sit there and say, oh, it was one person. No, it wasn't. Lies. Don't sound stupid. Me and him purposely don't say names. But he know who I'm talking about. So I don't have to say names. We keep names out of our mouth. You said it more than once, Sonia. You said it on more than one call. And you were very descriptive about the woman who goes to court and, 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 and researches and all of that shit. You're a liar. You're a liar. You're a liar. And I didn't that one no, you didn't. No, you didn't say nothing the whole time. You didn't say I shit. Did. <laughs> you just smiled and changed the subject. That's it. That's all That's it was. It. That's yep. it. I, I heard what you said and you moved on. Like, like, like. But I didn't make. It, I made light of it anyway. So I'm sitting there like, so what? I mean, I and I sat there and said I didn't ask for it and I didn't really care to see it. I didn't need to see it. So, you know, that how was it? When TX toy, you said Sylvia will never let me back on her channel. I'm sad. I'm sad. Now, here's the thing. I don't show titties, but I might cuss. I don't I don't show my breasts. I don't I don't have phone sex. I, I ain't doing all that. But she if she got something to say about a potty mouth, I heard how she be telling these folks to stop cussing and shit. She got some damn nerve. The shit she be saying is nastier than any cuss word we could say. Ain't that it? I heard you telling um, Demetrius Smith. I was listening to that call the other day. And she's talking to him about R. Kelly, where she admits R. Kelly has a problem with young girls. But you took your daughter with you to see him. Yeah. Y'all can check that out on my, on my, um, uh, in my videos. I uh, interviewed Sylvia a couple years ago. Yeah, she took her daughter to see R. Kelly. But she knows he likes young girls. And then she asked her afterwards, well, did, did you feel funny? Why would you take your daughter? But that's neither here nor there. Yeah, she wants to keep me off her channel. Child, I ain't even never been on her damn channel while you fooling. I don't think, wait, have I clicked your link before? Maybe once, I don't think so. But she definitely been over here. And um, mm, so we different. We different, okay? Mm -hmm. That, that ain't necessarily that I didn't say, oh, I was looking for it and I was trying to find, like, you know, like, y'all sound dumb. How I'm, I'm sitting here saying I didn't care to see it. I didn't ask to see it, nor did I, you know, want to, but she sent it anyway. And I was like, I really didn't need to see that. You know, I really didn't care. It didn't matter to me what they all look like. It doesn't matter to me what they look like. I don't give a shit. You know, my thing is going to court, proving what he need to prove and going on. What they look like is irrelevant to me. It's, it's completely irrelevant. But like I said, everybody's records need to go to court and need to be tried. 
just like he trying to try him on his. Yes, everybody's record need to go to court. Everybody's history need to be okay, in court. Now, so you. Everything need to be. You know they're gonna bring up your history too. I hope you're not supposed. To, you think you're gonna be a character witness because you're probably the last person they want to call to the uh, stand as a character witness for him. But with what the prosecution is probably gonna do is question you. You you might maybe that's why you're going to Africa. Maybe that's the real re reason because her ass gonna f around and she's gonna be on the stand. Okay, and she's gonna be up there talking like um. <laughs> Well, she's no Fonny. Let's let's make that very clear. But remember when Fonny said, "You got this with it. I got on trial." <laughs> but honey, you keep it up. You keep talking, and you keep, you know, looking into these people like you're a whole private investigator. You know what? I'm beginning to wonder when she was saying she had a private invest investigator. I wonder if she was referring to Sylvia, because I don't see her paying for no damn private investigator. I just don't see it. But anyway, let's listen. Got on whatever she did in her past, it need to come to court. And you're saying because one, it's her saying this happened, and it's him saying no, this happened. So now you need to understand how credible is she against how credible oh, is he? And hey, he's saying, how oh, is he going to ever prove his credibility based on what? Because he has a track record. Remember, he said the other day, track records don't lie. They damn sure don't. They damn sure don't. They don't lie at all. Let me tell you how they don't they don't um they don't lie and they tell the, the bigger story. Now, mind you, there may be circumstances that people are born into that cause them to feel that that's their only option. There are people who are homeless. There are people who have mental illness. There are a lot of reasons why people commit crimes. OK, and but those that do it for a long stretch all the way up until their 60s, that says a little bit more about you. OK, now let me tell you about track records. I had to share this with somebody out here because I have shared that I have made a mistake. I don't even want to call it a mistake. It was a mistake. It was definitely a bad fucking decision because I felt desperate and fearful. Never again will I make a decision out of fear and desperation. I'm just going to pray on it, sit on it, do the best I can and keep it pushing. But when I got beyond myself and thought, oh, I got to do something and I'm going to take advantage of this opportunity, I paid a price for that. It was my track record, hello, that kept me out of jail and prison. It was my track record that showed that I was educated, that I was a, a, a church, go, raised, raised up in the church, that I did community work, that I was an activist in many ways for people um, who have uh, criminal backgrounds. Uh, there are so many things and ways in which my track record contradicted the bad decision I made. That's what a track record will do. Your track record, sir, is a little different. Your track record demonstrates something altogether different. And, 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 and it has a vast, I mean, like you have so many different crimes too. It's like you didn't just stick with one thing. Like y'all remember, y'all, did y'all watch uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta? And um, Apollo, Apollo was a Phaedra's husband and he had done prison time and he was into doing scamming. He came right out did the same shit again. Right now, the difference is he stayed in his fucking lane. I didn't hear nothing about no, no assaults, uh, no kind of assaults. I didn't hear he, he murdered nobody. I didn't see none of that. He stayed right in his damn lane. But your track record says you, you in everything. And why are you? Constantly getting arrested. It's too much, sir. So I agree with you. Track records are everything. Just remember, we know your track record. Not the one you talk about, but the one you've been about. He did it because he had a pass. Okay, so it's again, his word against her word. How credible is she? We, we got to bring her history in it now because if there's no other proof past the conversation. How you know? And that's what you have to do in court. Let me say this too. Sonia keeps saying that there's no proof, that the people keep coming to the hearings with no proof. This is why I know she's not a paralegal. Who brings proof to the hearing? The proof comes out in the trial. The proof comes out in discovery. How do you know what proof they got? You haven't even gotten to that level yet, ma'am. You are not a paralegal. You may have been a, a legal secretary. Okay, a legal secretary, 
part-time for somebody, probably for an attorney who represented you in a case. That does not make you a paralegal, ho. Huh? We, how do we know who's credible and who's not? We don't know neither one of these people. So we need proof of credibility. So what we got on her? What's her history? What has she done? What has she done right? What has she done wrong? You know, same thing with him. You can't just make it one side and no. Because when you go to court with none of these many no, except for the one, everything comes into play. Everything. When she goes on stand, they're going to ride her. They're going to be like, did you this? What happened with this? Well, two years ago, you did this. What happened with that? Five years ago, you did this. You was arrested for that, you know? And she's going to have to sit there and, and answer that. Shit. Well, when you knew this would happen, why did you keep going? Why did you keep going on this, this, that, and the other? And why did you do that, that, that? <laughs> it's just a lot. You need to get you some water? <laughs> I got some coffee right here. All right. Okay, okay. But listen. No, because... I got to I got to text you Wait a minute. but 504 says she a pair of liar. <laughs> Not a pair of liar. <laughs> it, you know, it just it's just out of hand. And the thing of it is why this case is open and this is why they should have it uh, uh a uh gag order and a, a thing where they just do not let anybody post anything. The shit is a fucking YouTube mess. It's a YouTube mess. You're the best. I don't no, give a fuck. Because, if they because, if they come out and be go ahead. Hold up, hold up. Just because I I, I found innocent, you they, are mad. They just going bonkers Casey. and don't want to believe it. No, they don't. They don't. They they want they want to hate. That's the thing. They want to hate. It's not about you know love and happiness and I hope this works out. No, they want to hate. So they have to keep everything oh. hateful. Just like when they dismiss a the charter. They still were trying to find a reason to hate about that. Oh, it was probably from this, that, and the other. Oh, it was probably, you know, instead of, okay, well, I'm glad. You know, that part that, obsessed that, with the mess. Stay off damn YouTube. You'll never see it. Jesus. It was this mess. And that, because she said it was some bullshit. So maybe it was, you know. Who's no, it was, it was, no, for couple people said that. Sonya oh, did say it was some okay. bullshit. Sonya did say that, oh, that, 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 that. Okay. You know, but the rest of people who was half ass not listening and listening to the, only the blogger was running with the narrative of, yeah, you know, he did that. So he didn't do that. And I said he didn't do that. And I said it was some bullshit. And they dismissed that shit. So now what? Oh, no, it's got to be something they, else. They're going to do the rest off, too. One, one yeah. You can see what's going on, the real, real. They, they That's what I'm saying. And I was like, okay, so if he's so guilty, why Hold does he on. want Ms. all Dimple this? says there is no way she was a paralegal. I'm a paralegal. And her conversations with him definitely show she is not. She's speaking from personal experience and have given herself that title, allegedly. I believe that too. I believe that she feels that because she worked, I do believe that one time, she, you know how um, some attorneys will help people out. Like they feel like, okay, you got potential. I'm going to help you get out of trouble. And they probably offered her a job. Or maybe when she was on probation, she, as a matter of fact, she has to have a job when she's on probation. So maybe the attorney's office hired her. And because they hired her part-time and she had some exposure to some cases and maybe typed up something here and there. Her ass is calling herself a paralegal, but she damn sure isn't. And I'm not one, never been one, but I know better than this shit. The, the way she talks is ridiculous. That's to go to court. Why does she want all the evidence to come? I said, people that, especially since this shit is so out loud, it's not a quietly um, tried I, case. I said, if he's so damn guilty, he'd be wanting everything to trust, everything on the low, everything on the other side and the other. Why would he send me to go get warrant and have me read this shit? If he has something to hide, you know, I was like, so, no. Right. That's what I said. I was like, let's be clear. If he has something to hide, he has something to hide. And you reading a public warrant, it doesn't change that he may have something to hide. He probably wanted you to read the warrant for a couple of reasons. One, he wanted more clarity. He wanted to manipulate what they're saying so that when you read it to him he can give some bullshit explanation or not even explanation but just dismiss it right 
reading the warrant is public. He can't change that. So talking about he tried to, if he was trying to hide it, he wouldn't want you to read the warrant. You could read the warrant without his fucking permission. It makes no sense to me. So girl, bye. You sound paralegal. You sound stupid. Oh, yeah. I was like, y'all trying. Y'all really trying to find any negative route to go. Okay. And there you isn't. Try. There isn't. Y'all keep acting like these girls said they lost money. Money to sue and get, if that's the case. Again, he didn't say what happened on his end to tell the other side of the story. We're talking about what these tricks went and said or what the or what the detective twisted and said, you know, because she needed she needed him to go to jail because she needs something another, you know, niche on her uh I'm a new detective and I need some cases under my belt type shit. And here's the perfect victim because he's got a he's got a hit. Nobody knows what the fuck they're doing. Okay. The bloggers are wrong. The attorneys that he hired are wrong. The 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 attorneys on YouTube are wrong. Nobody is right but Sonya and him. I don't get it. I don't understand it. I don't know how you even come to that conclusion. And you know you don't have all the information. None of that shit makes sense to me. It's weird. History. You, so those are the easiest people to fry somebody with a history. So let me go ahead and, and screw this man over. And he black too? Yeah, let's go with that. I got a whole fucking narrative from John from jump and she got real desperate and was trying to get so that's what they did and i told you that you'll never see nobody get one charge whenever somebody get arrested it's like three or four five charges that is facts that is facts now that's the one thing you're saying is true it's not just black people it's anybody they always charge high at so that they can at least convict on some level they're hoping the higher they charge you the the more inclined you will be to take a plea no doubt about it OK, but sometimes they will offer you a plea. And then when you decide that that plea ain't good enough for you and you going to call their bluff and go to trial, they will show your ass. OK, we'll go to trial. And sometimes it don't work out the way you hope it's going to work out. But I think Nesto knows that the evidence. I, I think he knows that. They have enough against him that he has nothing to lose by going to trial because he's 60. He knows whatever time he does, he probably, he at the minimum, he probably won't walk out with less than 20 years. That's on the, that's on the low. I think he could get life. Hell, we just saw, um, oh, oh girl. I mean, old girl, oh boy, get life. Um, nature boy. He's a little bitch to me. So I, I was right when I said girl anyway. He be sitting there like, because one, when if they don't go to trial or whatever, they be trying to negotiate. They want something to, to get somebody. They get convicted on something, so they try to bargain. That's why they always throw five or six charges on something like, oh well, you know, we'll drop this, this, and that if you plead it out, because they throw all them extra charges. Well, I didn't do okay. none of that shit. You should have never tried to arrest me for me to resist the. Wait a minute. I understand what you're saying, Sonya, but were you guilty of something? Did they try to arrest you because you had committed a different crime? But because they tried to arrest you, like, I don't understand. You you resisted, and now it's their fault you resisted? I mean, I have seen people resist, and you know that the cop is wrong. I get it. I, we see that over and over. I see it all the time, and it angers me. It frustrates me. It, it's, it's despicable as hell, right? But Sonya. Come on now. Sometimes we are guilty and we are getting arrested and we are resisting and you're making things worse. But at the end of the day, they're doing their job too. I'm not talking about the crooked ones because a lot of them are. That shit, that, look, the police are corrupt and I don't give a damn what city you're in. Every police department has some corruption in it. Period, point blank, end of discussion. Period. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about the ones who are actually doing their job and who are actually um, um, trying to get through the, the day so that they can get home to their fucking families. And, and people like you resisting fucking arrest when they probably deserve to be arrested and causing more issues. I, I don't hear that bullshit. Hi, hi, GC. We heard her reading that. We heard her reading 
Wait a minute. Let me go to the other one so I can see it better. Okay. We heard her reading that sounded like a first grader. <laughs> Please practice that and stay off of YouTube streets until you can read. Okay. I didn't hear her read it, y'all. She read the um, warrant too? Sonya did? So, wait, did I? um? I missed Vicky Vale. I'm so, oh, I didn't miss. Did I miss you, Vicky Vale? I'm sorry, boo. Thank you for another super chat. I wish someone would kick her nest kick her off nesto soapbox from my oh kick nesto soapbox from under her this man has said 10 words this whole call a waste of six dollars she's a whole bum and a half is that what it costs y'all i always wondered about that i wondered how much each call cost thank y'all for the super chats gc and vicky bill should have never approached me i need to you know fight you and um you know I can get this other charge. You should have never said Let nothing. Let me tell you to something. Me. I understand the anger people feel when they are um, arrested, even if they're wrongfully arrested. I've taught my son that if you are ever, 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 ever arrested, I just want you to, even if you're wrong, or I'm sorry, even if they're wrong. If the cop is wrong, I want you to do everything they say to do so that I can get you home. I want you alive. I want you safe. I want you to comply and go with it because any they will use any reason, any reason to give uh, 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 black men in particular, a hard ass time to abuse them, whatever. I don't want them to give, I don't want my son to give any excuses for them to be able to harm him. We will handle that part. We'll handle that part later. I just want you to be safe and get home. But you mean your dumb ass is out here fighting the police? If they wrong, why are you fighting the fucking police? Dumbasses. Okay. How do you say what I said? Girl, get on your scooter and head back to Florida, child. That's what, what I said. They'll sit there and slap them with five charges because they figure one of them going to sit unless we go to trial and get it all thrown out. But what's the likability? Because if he's got a pass, he's going to throw that pass in his face and he's going to scare his ass. Nobody black get one charge. They always charge on four, five, six, seven charges as a safety. They just hit you with some bullshit. Some hair, some, some bullshit. And you dealing, like I said, when you read the, the Roswell police uh, reviews and stuff and look at the videos that go. 11 Alive put on there, man, that, that, that whole police department is fucked up. The whole Let's police be clear. department is Most fucked police up. Most police departments are fucked up, period. Now what? Now what we gonna do? What we gonna do about it? What, huh? What power you got, Sonya? Absolutely, I tell my son that all the time. That's so scary to even think about. Absolutely, me, ma. And I don't care. Like I said, if the cops are wrong, it's two fucking left shoes. Do what they say. Do. We'll handle it later. I just need you to come home. Period. We gonna get you out of jail. We gonna deal with that shit. But in the moment, don't argue. Don't fight. Don't resist. Do what they say. And we're going to get the damn tapes. And we're going to handle that shit. She sound like a damn fool. And, and you got white people saying, and not just black people. One black guy said it, but them, all the other reviews that were negative were from white people. Talking about how foul and fucked up the, the Roswell police. But you have one you. minute remaining. Praise God. And that's what's fucking crazy. That's just fucking crazy. They don't put none of that into life. They just run in with the blind narrative. But these okay, bitches hello, don't. Hello, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Just, you know me. Hello, hello, hello. Uh -huh, go ahead. Just, just hit me uh, right now what you're talking about. Okay, yeah. I'm about to. Bye, bye, bye. All right, all right. Thank you for watching. No! This half a crazy. Right, he was like, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> He probably put that damn phone down, her daughter. The hell?
Woo, Kate Jones, we are finally done with this bitch. Okay. <laughs> I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. Okay, look, I can't. So look, I said we're gonna, we are doing our members only live. I need to handle something. So how about this? Because I'm done with this hoe. I'm, I'm, I'm exhausted. I've said so much, three hours. You people have worked me to no end, trying to gift people. Oh my God, you just grew my, you probably just doubled my damn membership while you fooling just in this live alone. I am so grateful to each and every one of you. I really am. I mean, I'm, I'm grateful for each and every one of you who clicked on this live today, period. Uh, thank you for dealing with me and all my many ranges of emotions I've had today, dealing with this heifer. Um, she's a liar. She's crazy. It's disgusting what she and Sylvia are trying to do where these victims are concerned. I feel no, I feel no, no compassion for Nesto. I just don't. It is what I, it, it is what it is. I am grateful for this community of people that are in my chat. What I want to say earlier, I um, very briefly, I, I just say this. Um, I know how people take advantage of YouTubers. I know how that happens and how that works. And I know that, like I said, after this interview I had with Sonia, I know that that helped to change the direction of my channel and the growth of my channel. I'm very excited about that. Um, I give full credit to people like uh, Real Talk Bougie, uh, Wisdom's Daughter, as well as Grown Woman Vibes, because all of them have been welcoming to me and have um, told their chats about me. And you guys kind of found me that way. And so I'm very grateful for that, many of you. And um, what I, I told both of them, though, I talked to um, both Nyla and uh, Fran. And I told them, I said, look, you know what? I need to stay out of y'all's chats and stuff. And I'm trying to stay, you know, out of your membership because I know people do take advantage. And I don't want to be in a situation where I'm hearing commentary and then I'm turning around and almost saying their commentary without even meaning to, nor do I want to take it advantage in a negative way. You know what I'm saying? Of, of um, their open arms to me. Sonia's hairline, I'm beating your fucking ass, okay? We're going to fucking fight. Now I'm cussing, okay? <laughs> Stop! Sonia's hairline! Now, let me say this. and and. and let me just finish what I'm saying. Then we're going to go look at Sonya's hairline and her hard headed ass. Okay. Um, so I told them that I said, but I'm so thankful for y'all and I love your commentary and I'm learning so much from them because I still consider myself. Um, uh, what did she say? What did Sonya call us? Junior blog. I'm a junior blogger. Now they ain't junior. I think they senior. I'm junior. Okay. <laughs> I think they're vets at this point. I'm, I'm a junior. And I'm grateful for the experience and the opportunity I've had to learn from them and stuff. And I'm going to support their channels because honestly, uh, I am. I'm just, I am going to support their channels. But I'm grateful though for how they have been so welcoming. And like I said, I know I've gotten to know a lot of you because of them. And so um, I just want to thank them publicly and to let them know publicly, you know, the gist of what I said privately is that I support both of them, but I don't ever want you to question, you know, my integrity in this situation. Cause I know that there are people trying to take advantage of each of them and I don't want to be in that mix. So, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, so if y'all don't see me over there, I told him, I said, but you know, I'm gonna be, dro I'm gonna be dropping super chats and, 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 and gifting memberships and stuff. Child. I'm gonna be over there. I'm gonna be over there and I'm gonna be talking about them. But, um, you know, I just want to, I want to respect their, their, their space. You know what I'm saying? But I couldn't help myself today. Real talk, bougie. I was all in the chat this morning. Then I had to get out because I was, I heard like the first 10 minutes of this call. And I was like, let me get the hell out of here. So, okay. Anyway, with that said, Sonia's hairline. What did she do? Okay. You gifted Eve has many faces. Let's raise these kids. 
uh, Tiana's touches, Beverly Pierce, and Happy Sanford. All good gifted membership. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I have something I need to take care of. I'm going to schedule a members only live for 3 p.m. Should I do 3 p.m. or 4 p.m., y'all? This is Eastern. I, I'm Eastern Standard Time. So I can either um, schedule it for three or four. Actually, four might be better. Four might be better. And I want to tell y'all um, just some things I got coming up. And then I want to hear from the members. Like, what do y'all want? What do y'all want to do? And then maybe we can really talk, talk behind the scenes. Okay. Thank you, Science Hairline. You are the legit uh, sponsor of this here um this live you sponsored this whole live okay <laughs> you did that oh my god oh my god gg we are all family yes we are all family i love those ladies i really do gc your ass too damn it man what the hell is going on gc okay miss nikki uh take the plug Danny Virgo, Nikki with the iPad, Latoya Lucas. Is that one, two, three? Is that it? I thought it was five, but wait. One, two, three. Okay, that was five. Thank you, GC. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And yes, Sonia Hairline, we are all family. I love these. I love those ladies, and I love all of you in this chat. And I love the energy because, you know, it's funny that Tanya says it's negative. I really, I don't, I mean, I guess, I guess if I was on that side, I might see it a little different. But look, if it was that negative and wasn't entertaining and fun, would Dre be out here watching all this shit? Now, I don't know if Dre is over here, but he's definitely watching Grown Woman Vibes. And he's definitely watching Sylvia. Okay, because he's mentioned both of them. We know he's watching them. Okay, now why is he watching some shit that's negative? Cause he knows that she's entertaining and like, like, uh, he said, Nesso, they say you're nasty. <laughs> they say you're nasty. <laughs> so anyway, okay. What y'all say about the time? Should we do three or 4 PM Eastern? Um, oh my goodness, Vicky Vale. If you don't get out of here now, she just, um, done, um, gifted somebody else too. Damn it. GC, you just got, wait, you just got gifted, GC? You was gifted and you, won't God do it. He did that. Okay, so I tell y'all what, let's do, let's do, let's do four o'clock. Okay, four, everybody stand four. Okay, four Eastern. I'm scheduling the members only live for 4 p.m. Uh-oh, we got one three in here. I got to go with the majority. We're going to go with four. It probably is better. I can get some, I can get a couple things accomplished. So we'll do that. I'll see you guys back at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to set the live now. I want to thank each and every one of you for being here. I love y'all to death. I do. I love y'all to death. Um, uh, I want to thank my moderators. <sighs> thank them so much. Like I said, they're my biggest cheerleaders. Um, and, and thank you to all of you, everybody who super chatted, everybody who gifted memberships, reefs and muffs. If you don't go somewhere and sit your ass down, go sit down somewhere. Five star, you just got gifted. Okay, look, I'm getting the hell out of here. Goodbye. I'm getting out of here. I will see y'all at 4 p.m. I'm about to set it, okay? All right. Love y'all to the moon and back, doggone it. To the moon and back. See y'all later. Switches. I don't, I don't stop.